I mean, you want to give it a second until after one, because it, it I, I doesn't... Don't want, I don't want it to show up in the recording. Well, you failed at that. You just got half of it in the recording. <laughs> oh. So all you really accomplished just, there was getting... <laughs> like... <laughs> Well, I wouldn't. I don't want to interrupt you. You tried mind. to do two things and failed at both. Well, technically, the first one worked. I. I don't think it did. But welcome back to Vestige of a Fucus, Nat Nineteen, a uh, Campaign One for whatever campaign numbers mean at this point. <laughs> for those of you that are out there, keep in mind this means that someday we're we're gonna keep the same characters, but we're gonna be in a campaign too. And campaign one's been ninety sessions long. That should tell you oh how long God. we're best at we're oh. doing this campaign. Then back to one. <laughs> oh it's my God. Weird. We're God. still within Honokuni. You're here with all of us, these nerds. I'm the Logan boy, and those are the that's the, the, the that's the Aaron boy, the Hayden we're the them. Loganette. That's the Hayden them, the Spencer boy, the Cody boy, the the, the, the Carrie Joe, and the, <laughs> the, the 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 Izzy Wizzy. Oh, you're here with all Aww. of us. Yeah, Izzy for shizzy. <laughs> Izzy. It's true. Izzy oh for God, Wizzy. What? I don't remember what we decided to call Izzy at 3 a.m. the other night. And Fuck! I we had oh, a thing, didn't what? we? We had a thing, and I don't remember the thing because it was like 3 a.m. and we're. Garbage humans. It wasn't Izzy Wizzy, was it? It wasn't. It, was, it wasn't. What the fuck? I'm sure it was good, Izzy. It was oh, something that game. we all decided that we would definitely call you it, and we all had to do it for it to work, and then we all forgot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and by all, Aww. we mean Logan and I. With the two of us. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to imply that there was many more people in this. <laughs> no, it was us at 3 a.m., bro. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's adorable. Sorry, I just had a moment of like, oh my god, we had a thing and I don't remember the thing. I don't even remember <laughs> if it was like a rhyming thing or if it was just like a it weird... It was. It was definitely a rhyming thing. I just don't know. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. We're gonna back. Just shout it two hours into the game. Yeah, no, we will. This oh, is gonna be... <laughs> this is absolutely gonna be a Mark Zuckerberg moment. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, welcome back to Honokuni. So that all aside, <laughs> welcome back to Vestige, to Honokuni. We're going to figure out who's going to tell you guys what happened last time. Uh, we are currently missing Bread. Bread is doing stuff, so we'll have Bread back next time. But for now, no Bread, I'm afraid. So, all right, so Bread, what happened last time? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's just skip over to the next person. Cody! I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> you got this, boy. <laughs> you can do uh, it. Okay, so uh, last time we were, we had made our way into Honokuni. Uh, we had uh, already talked to to Boyos in the in the previous sessions. So we didn't have to talk to talk to anybody. Ever. We were just kind of like here in in the moment, uh, doing doing our thing, looking around, hearing some noises, and we decided to to head off to the head off to the north over toward the. Uh, where where we saw some light over in the over oh, in the distance. Oops. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, you were, you really you tired with your character that soon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you already rolling uh, stats for another one. I thought I, mean, for... I thought I I'm pretty sure I remember like op like bookmarking the map. So I just went to the first thing I bookmarked. And it was that. <laughs> right. oh. Continue, Cody. It's continue. Like, oh, whoops. <laughs> we continued our way. Uh, we made our way um, uh, eventually up up north a little bit uh, until we found a crossway. The crossway had a couple of uh, different paths we could choose between. Some of them were marked and some of them were not. Um, we had decided to head off toward the marked city that had the the uh, the light there because I mean we we might as well head there because there's there's people there there's things there better to know where something is than to not know but there were like explosions behind us which was a little <laughs> concerning um but we're so we're decided let's let's not go over there but like maybe we'll go over there we'll we'll decide later um we headed off a little bit more uh until we uh, had the the city in view we decided to head off to the north of said city because that's where we had seen. Uh, some sort of a farm. Uh, Miriam had gone invisible uh, and started looking into these little little silky boys. Uh, they were pulling them off this tree, which was which was uh, they're just they're just kind of hanging out and, and doing good. The people don't look very happy to be picking the silky boys off from the tree, 
But uh, I mean, I wouldn't be happy either if I was boiling bugs alive. That that sounded that sounds pretty gross. Like even if you even if you don't take into the fact of like oh life or anything like that. Um, <laughs> turns out they're making silk out of them, so that's interesting. Uh, we all learned about how to make silk, or at least I did. I had no idea before that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we returned back to, to everybody. We, we handed off a silky boy. Spent a lot more time than we probably should have deciding what to do with one of the cocoons. Uh, but I loved it. We have him still. He's ours. <laughs> He's inside of a box. <laughs> uh, and, uh, then we, we, we headed off into the city. While inside, there was a bit of a commotion. Uh, well, mostly because I was waving at people and they didn't really seem to like that. Um, but later on, there was some people that were like yelling and like going like, oh, we're going to teach you a lesson. Uh, Marion put a little barrier around him and said, nah. Uh, and, uh, they're like, oh, well, you think you can freaking do that? And it's like, oh, are, aren't you guys supposed to be lords and guests or whatever? Get out of here. And we're like, nah. And they're like, well, we'll kill you then. And then we killed them. Um, mm. Their boss, not really boss, but like another guy showed up and he's like, oh, I haven't got to killing today. Uh, and and then an old lady showed up and, and she's like, well, you're not going to get to because I'm going to take them over here. And he's like, boo. Uh, so we made our way off with the old lady and she's all like, yeah, I'm 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 from like England. Anyway, this is this is your new best friend. <laughs> it points off this paladin boy uh, that Femris knew. This about is a very childhood. granular recap. <laughs> I may I it. say? <laughs> Keep going. And, though. and he's yeah. and he's like, hey, I uh, I knew you uh, about like a little bit ago. It was like forty years, and they're like, no, it was like closer to more than that. And he's like, what? Uh, turns out he was he was pulled out of time. Uh, which kind of sucks for him. I'm not sure what's going to happen to him when we get all this over. If, if you know, he gets out of this, if we get out of this, to be honest. Um, but uh, but he he seems pretty eager to 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 help us out, even though a couple of us are kind of weird. Uh, he's a little weird <laughs> too, though, because he was touch he was touching some ears and giving some scritches. Um, but you know, he's also <laughs> he's also a boy that I want to stick around because he has an aura of being a paladin around him, and I really yeah. like the idea of not losing constant losing off on any sort of saves again because i went blind and it sucked um but now i'm not blind anymore we're in a we're in a carriage where are we going he's not wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're in a carriage yeah. we're in a carriage we are it just really wrapped up really quickly at the end it's like spending a whole lot of time explaining the first half of girl and the gun for like like 10 minutes and then being like and then they they grew up and went to space and like that's <laughs> that's the second half like <laughs> this is why i don't this is why i don't do it very often <laughs> but i literally haven't done it in like months i think like like mo like multiple months damn all righty my guys so yeah okay. you um normally i give a slightly more expanded uh recap just to clarify things but that covered most things you arrive you find your way to bochi um while in bochi you encountered the military force that you guys now come to know as the zugaiken you fought three of their soldiers you saved a couple of elven boys a nice elven couple uh and then you encountered a man named sagittarius a uh, rather tall rather strong looking man who was eager for a fight but he was shooed away by Mother Tear, who explained a bunch of Get things to you. Oh, and she was like, you got horns where your brain should be. And he was like, that's only kind of true. And then <laughs> you uh, talked with Mother Tear for a while. We're given a house on the river in the bad part of town. It, it's not, not dangerous. It's just the not so good part of town. It might be dangerous. You don't really know, really, to be fair. Um, but uh, then you guys got in a carriage with one of the priestess women, um, the shrine maidens, uh, having beckoned you to it, and you guys took off. And as far as you know, you are currently on your way to Yorika Castle, where you are supposed to be having dinner with the Lord of Honokuni, who you guys have come to know is named Semrai Saigo. Mm -hmm. They seem really peppy as well. Yes, also there was a sending attempt that was intercepted by a young man. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a thing there I never noticed. 
it's true. In the distance, you would you would see that there's a, a set of mountains over there. Like, not, not giant mountains, but there's a couple of mountains. There's a pass between them. And as you guys travel, you would see the faint lights of what looks like uh, some kind of checkpoint between them and the pass that leads uh, beyond them. As you move, as you guys are on the carriage, you are taken for about... Hmm, how long would this trip be? Normal pace, you guys would end up traveling for about eight, nine hours in it. Oh. As you do. You guys are brought to... After the end of the first couple of hours. You guys arrive at the edge of what appears to be... Uh, like I said before, there's like blackout curtains on the windows in here, but you can see out the window that leads towards the front where you see another one of those um, Shrine Maiden women who have remained silent up until this point. Is currently driving the carriage, which is uh, led by two ox. Oxen? It's oxen. The plural's oxen. Why am I doubting that? It's oxen. I know that. <laughs> I know. This is one of those things that I'm going to guess myself out of. I'm right the first time, and I'll be like, nah. -uh. And then I'll... Mm. No, it's oxen. Two oxen. Um, as you guys approach it, a chill runs down your spines as you come within view of what looks to be this expansive forest that lays ahead of you that seems to exist in this uh, valley surrounded by these mountains that you were able to see as if it had been particularly illuminated by the moonlight uh, that hangs over this place. As you guys approach it, um, the trees change. For the most part in this place, you see that it's mostly pine and what you as players would recognize to be versions of uh, cherry blossom trees. As you come to this forest, it becomes thicker, uh, the, and there is a very thick fog hanging in it. Seeing out the window, you can't see much of it, but within the fog, you find you couldn't see probably more than 60, maybe, feet at best at any point within this forest. And the carriage comes to a stop and seems to wait there for a while. Ten minutes go by. Another ten minutes go by. Is there anything you guys would like to do as the carriage seems to have come to an abrupt stop at the edge of this Would forest? you say that the hours coming here were restful? Uh, yeah, if you want to take wow. a short, here, a short rest. Have your spell slot back. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god, please, Gib. Fucking <laughs> rest. Short rest. There you go, Petal Knight boy. You got your spell <laughs> slot back. <laughs> I uh, couldn't fight! <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I'm just gonna hang out back here with my paladin best friend now. <laughs> yeah, I'm also beside the paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Perhaps. Uh, <laughs> I like how something is amiss. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps something is amiss. Should we talk with our driver? No. Uh, hey. Are everything so okay? You don't get any response back from the front. No, no. sign that they heard you. I said I'm anything like okay, and they said nothing. So nothing's okay. I'm gonna like look Should out. We... The, is there like a window to like look out in the carriage? Yes, there are windows on both sides of the carriage, as well as there is a uh, like driver side uh, window that is uncovered, which is what you could see the forest through. But it's hard to tell much of anything. It's mostly meant just to communicate with whoever's driving the carriage. Um, okay. So, but you could you could pull the curtains on the windows and look out if you want. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look at like the side window just to like see what's on the road, like in front of us. Or, Quick question. Us. Yeah. <laughs> I was just curious. Which side you on? Okay, I'm assuming the paladin boy is in the middle. Let's <laughs> Okay, go so let's right. just assume that everywhere in the carriage is within his aura. It's <laughs> just let's get that out of the way yeah. to freak up everybody. Oh my god. See, well, yeah, but I'm <laughs> cold. It's misty. Uh, what if this carriage is 15 feet long? I hadn't, as the DM, considered that the carriage might be longer than I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You didn't, fool. <laughs> I will I will be on the right facing forward. I don't want to go backward in a carriage. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you come to the edge, I will say, roll me a perception check, please, Lexi. And do so with disadvantage, because you're looking out into the darkness. What? But I have dark vision. Uh, you Ooh. certainly do. 
<laughs> is this a closed carriage or is it like a open? It's closed, kind of. Okay, that's why there's windows. Gotcha. From fancy carriage. Oh, twenty. Oh, God, the fourteen's I mean, still pretty good though. Okay, yeah. As you look out, you see mostly this forest that you're on the edge of. The coloration of the trees uh, seems to change. The forest ahead of you seems to be comprised mostly of what look like very tall, uh, wide, red pine trees. The flora uh, uh, here seems to all have this uh, rusty coloration to it. It's all reds and oranges and uh, what legitimately looks like rusted metal coloration on some of the trees ahead of you. You do see some broadleaf trees, but most of it is pine. Um, you, but you do notice with a 14 when you look out, uh, considerably in the distance you see another light that appears to be marking a very small uh, abode that you see a cabin that appears to have a lantern lit far in the distance, just far enough, that, uh, just close enough that you can see it, but far enough away that you'd recognize that it would take probably a few hours to get to. Uh, just sitting on the edge of this forest at the base of the mountains that surround it. Beyond that, you don't see much of anything. So, like, does it look like the carriage just stopped because it can't go up, like, the mountain? No. Kind of thing, the, the carriage no? looks like it's pointed uh, down a path that would cut through the forest. You don't know exactly oh. why it stopped, but it appears to have stopped before this thicker mist that, comp that the forest is uh, drowning in. Okay. Well... There's, like, nothing on the road, but, like, I mean, there's, like, a mist and stuff, but, like, they've, they've stopped. I can I can see, like, a like a light coming from, like, a house or something, but it's still really far away. Mm. Is the driver all right, Master Lexi? Can I see the driver from here, or would I need to look through a different window? You can look through the front easily. You see the driver's still there. Uh, excuse me, are you okay? Yeah. You don't get any response from them? They're not responding. I'm gonna get out. I'll check it out. Ooh. Right behind you. All right. How brave. <laughs> I will join you. Great. I guess I'll I have to go now, too. <laughs> 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 okay, I guess. Wow. Well. As, as, you, as you as you try to step out, uh, Aviana, as you try to uh, unlatch the door to the carriage, you do find that it appears to... Um, not with a great deal of aggression. I don't want to give the impression that this happens in a assertive way, but there is a latch that locks the inside that as you reach for it, it slowly on its own flips over and latches it. And you could easily unclick it uh, and unlock the door. But as you go to reach for it, you do notice the door locks itself from the inside. Yeah, no, fuck this. <laughs> She's going to unlock it. All right. Or attempt to. Nothing stops you from doing so. Hmm. Very strange. I... Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I will open it and I will step out into the night. Into the night. Into the night. In the of the night. As you do. All right. You step out. Uh, is anybody uh, not stepping out of the carriage? No, I'm getting out. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> piling out real Mark's quick. I'm gonna cast oh, yeah. dark vision on myself when I step out. Yeah. Good call. Fair. So, if you're all getting out of it, uh, as you step out, you see the head of the driver turns lightly. The hood just like shifts over towards you, but doesn't seem to pay any real mind to you doing so. Um, they look back, staring intently into the mist. Is there anything you guys would like to do? What are we waiting for? Addressing. Can the I driver. do a? Can mm -hmm. I do a divine sense? Yes. Um, that allows you to detect fiends and undead and elementals, I believe, right? Uh, Is that the see. list? Celestials, fiends, and undead. Not elementals. Right. You would detect that the um, the driver does appear to be undead. Mm -hmm. But you've well, seen you've seen their what body. I've seen normal. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, from their body, you've seen they they don't appear to be like decrepit. Like they don't seem to be undead in the way a zombie is. Uh, and you've mm -hmm. seen these things, these um, women disappearing and reappearing uh, as More of the just party. a spirit. Yeah, it seems to be the case. Yeah. Mm hmm All right. Hmm. Well, I don't sense anything dangerous around us uh, in our immediate facility, so... 
Uh, let's. How far does that go out to? Sixty feet. Okay. Not that far. Just for the, uh -oh. for the sake of this, why don't you roll me a <laughs> roll me a perception check? You get it. It's a four. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. Yeah, it's not great. Are you Hayden? <laughs> you get you get the <laughs> vaguest <laughs> sense mm. of something a ways outside your divine sense, but still strong enough that it uh, causes it to ping. You get the sense of something fiendish lurking inside the mist. Uh, and as you do, and as you turn towards it, you hear this distorted, almost like multi-tonal horse whinny erupt from the inside of the mist. From the same direction I was looking, or...? Yeah, from the direction the carriage is pointed in. Yeah. Hmm. Does everybody hear that? Yes, everybody does hear it. Okay. Oh. Oh, I can't stand horses. That's not a regular horse. Wow. <laughs> I, I should say not. Also, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> huh. That is very strange. Mm hmm. Don't know if I've ever heard anything like that. No. Mm -hmm. Have I, I? I assume I've used divine sense in the past, like while I was in here. Uh, have I sensed anything like that before, or is this something new? Uh, this you've sensed fiendish things, but here, here before, I would note that um, mm -hmm. you've encountered. You've not directly encountered, but you'd be familiar with yokai. Uh, you would have noted mm. that you bumped into a couple of different forms of yokai here. Um, mm -hmm. But it, it detects like any fiend would. Uh, okay. As it does, as you guys ponder what might be within the mists there, you briefly catch a glimpse uh, of what look like flames, of a horse-like figure, but large, larger than normal, standing inside the mist... Uh, deep within it, you can see the silhouette of them, with flames erupting from just above their hooves, a mane of fire that illuminates them, and a very large Goliath-like figure standing on top of them. And the only reason you can see them is because you see they hold a lance that appears to be made of f twisting flame that illuminates them within. And then the mists suddenly part. They spread apart as if a tunnel drills through them, suddenly parts forming a path, and when it passes by where this figure should be sitting on their horse, they seem to disperse and disappear as if they were part of the mist. You hear the ringing of a very large bell in the distance. Ding dong. Oh. <laughs> like a church bell, repeatedly ringing <laughs> as the mists oh. continue to part. In the direction of the where that the, the mist is? that the carriage was facing, yes. As a path yeah. seems to part in the mist, heading into the forest. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not keen to walk through that, so I'm going to start climbing back into the carriage. <laughs> this is really spooky. We should, yeah, we'll get back in the carriage. I don't like it. Oh, oh seems like right. a, a safe option. Safe and mm. boring option, but okay. Abby's There's scary. plenty of things we can do to spice up the journey if you want, Aviana. Miriam, I will throw you out of the moving carriage. Happily. Shut up. <laughs> <clears throat> I get back in the carriage. <laughs> yeah. As I pass by Miriam, I will punch him swiftly in the stomach and walk by. And <laughs> still stands. Uh. <laughs> Why do you bother trying? You know it's never gonna happen. Uh, pass the time, really, more than anything. God. This is Again, I also feel like he can't help it at this point. I admire the tenacity. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a note. You can certainly try, but it will end in your death, Miriam. Oh, you're gonna murder me? Happily. Oh. Let's make it quick, all right? No. That wouldn't be any fun. I just I got a lot of people trying to kill me, and I figure, you know, it might as well be someone I like murdering me. 
Aww. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has a long list. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see. Hmm. You might be on that list, actually, now that I think about it. I might be on oh. what list? Of people who want to kill him. Get in line. Um, I hope not to kill you. Yeah, I hope <laughs> that too. I don't know you. I have no opinion on you yet. <laughs> I also don't know you. But I don't want to die. So. Then keep your mouth Thanks. shut. Are we all just like piled back in the carriage or like? I, I assume <laughs> so. I was, I was trying not to interrupt. Um, I assume having, so at this point. Having heard it and seen like the kind of visage it was, does it remind me of anything I might have seen in the hells? That horse? Um, the closest thing that you might think is a nightmare, but if it's a nightmare, it's a big nightmare. Mm, okay. Oh. What's that? It's a big bag. <laughs> As you guys pile back in, a spectral pink butterfly floats into the carriage behind you guys, and behind it, the door closes, the lock latches back in place. Once again, not seemingly with the, with the intention of keeping you in, just almost as if to assert that you should stay inside. Mm -hmm. As you continue to move forward, the carriage begins to... The carriage begins to slowly roll through a path that moves through the forest. It's somewhat hard to follow where you're going. When you look out the windows, you mostly see that mist on the side, which is parted and made a 20, 30 foot wide pathway through it that allows you to move that the carriage seems to be following. You occasionally hear that bell going off again, this deep, bassy reverberation that spreads throughout the forest. And as you continue to move, uh, you pass over a couple of bridges, um, noting that this forest has some streams within it. At one point you hear the cawing of what seems like a swarm of what you might recognize to be the sound of ravens, but almost distorted, dark. As you continue to move, it takes you another few hours. As you're rounding a turn at one part of the forest, you see that up on an elevated section near what appear, uh, up on what appears to be a uh, elevated lake that all these streams flow from, you see that there is a castle sitting at the end of this large opening, this uh, this berth between the mountains. The castle is of Cahulian construction, which means it is less of a traditional European castle, uh, more what you guys might recognize from feudal Japan as a small settlement. Um, you would recognize it is raised up on an artificial foundation, um, and there are, looks to be various houses and watchtowers with one large central structure coming from the inside that appears to be some kind of manor. But from here, it, you can tell that collectively this ground constitutes a castle. As you move towards it, another couple of hours pass. You lose sight of it, find sight of it again as you move, the castle always looming over your vision every time you come to a clearing in this forest. Eventually you come to a set of steps that seem to move up the mountains. Whenever you do, the carriage doesn't stop. I would like anyone who would imagine they're sitting on the left side of the carriage, I'll let you guys decide who it is. Could you roll me a perception check? I'm in the middle, apparently. Apparently you're in the middle. You don't <laughs> get to look at right things. Well, well, if Lexi on the right. on the right, I'll be on the left. Okay. Yeah, there you go. da <laughs> da 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 Perception. Thirteen. <laughs> Between this game and DMS, I am convinced that Nat 19, yeah. you guys just don't want to play games anymore, I don't think. <laughs> Where did <laughs> I end? This? this week has He's been... He's got the left side window. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, uh, I'm so distracted. Tag's here. <laughs> Damn. I mean, look at that jawline. <laughs> You'll look be fine. Jawline. You wow. see this maybe 40, 50 foot set of steps that lead up part of the mountain. The trail does continue and seems to wind past it, but there is a footpath that connects to these st uh, steps that move up towards what looks like um, a very large... Uh, you're used to seeing them at this point, the very large gates that look like they belong in front of a, a shrine, like a Shinto shrine. 
As you see it, you see within the mist there is a figure that appears to be carrying uh, a couple of spears, a blade at their side that you can see the silhouette of them, Nemric, wearing uh, what looks to be um, Kahulian armor, what you as a player would recognize to be like crested samurai armor, like thick, a very large helmet with a very large crest on the top of it, uh, tattered robes. Um, and whenever you pass, they seem to bring their hand up to their side and grab hold of their sword handle. But then as you pass and leave, they relax again, as if standing upon the top of these steps, waiting, defending the area. Oh. The carriage oh. continues to move, circles around, takes another path around, and bypasses these steps entirely. And eventually, oh. you guys come to the edge of the forest. You come to a lake. Sitting out upon it is this castle. You can see that the ground here was artificially dug out to extend the edge of this lake, which goes down no more than uh, f four feet, you can tell, where the water is. On the center of it, uh, there is what looks to be uh, a drawbridge that is currently uh, not extended, that connects the mainland to this large structure, this almost small town of a castle. Uh, it appears to be... There appear to be two major elevations to it. The main one where uh, there's a path that goes around it. There's 20 foot high walls that surround it that appear to be breached only by the tops of some buildings and large watchtowers that guard the area. And you can see that the central area is elevated 30 feet. So it'll make more sense once you see some stuff. But the there's a path that leads up and the large manor you saw before at the center as well as most of this large landmass that constitutes the castle sitting inside the middle of this lake um, is elevated up 30 feet. I'm gonna give you guys a map, not because it's gonna super matter, but just because I think, it'll give some, I think it'll give some context. Wah! Uh, and I know that there's oh, like a different time. sense of uh, north, mm -hmm. west, east, south, whatever. Um, here, like, which way did I did I see those steps? Was it this way? Uh, they would have been heading to the northeast. Okay, so in like the direction here? of the castle. On oh, the castle, okay. The the, the 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 steps you saw seem to be if you were moving by foot, they would be a quicker way to get up the mountain, whereas the carriage had to follow paths that wind around and go up. Gotcha. Mm. Huh. Mm. Prepare for a very big map. Oh boy. So excited. <laughs> Logan, very quick question. Yes. It's mostly just for me out of curiosity. So the ravens that we were hearing in the forest, did uh did they sound anything at all like ravens Avi might have heard growing up or not? Um mm -hmm. have we established that you spent time around Raven Yokai and whatnot? Well I feel like that's what you're asking. With mama. Yeah. Uh, the ravens that would have been with your mother would, for the most part, have, uh, sounded like ravens. Okay. It's, it's a bit hard to tell from just the sound of one in a place like this, is okay. the short answer. Mostly just curious. Stick close to the belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm aware of that. Formation, everybody. <laughs> right. Fucking it's tag, just like man, you guys obvious. sure are friendly. <laughs> <laughs> you are quite useful. No, I do Damn. like making friends. Mm. <laughs> this bridge is initially not raised. You can see across the water, which looks very pure compared to everything else that you've seen here. Um, you see off in the distance behind. This large structure, this massive uh, land mass that sits just in the middle of this lake. Uh, you see what appears to be a waterfall in the distance, kicking up a lot of uh, foam and uh, steam and this, this cover of uh, mist that seems to imply there's a sort of waterfall back there. Um, maybe a few hundred more feet behind the structure in front of you. The water itself is very clear. You see a wide variety of fish swimming around in it as you come up to it. Um, I say this with the implication that you get out. The carriage does stop 
<laughs> the door does open on its own, and since you guys have already taken the liberty of rearranging yourselves on the map before anyone said they got out of the carriage, I will assume you got out of the carriage. <laughs> yes. Even though yeah, I have to put it. you on the map yeah. so that you could see things. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, I'm just hacking. It's fine. It's reminding fine. you that map movement does not mean that you did a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> oh god. Okay. Choking on my drink. Okay. <coughs> oh, this is where I go. The campaign ends here. Well, oh. ah. <coughs> well, it's about time. There's a moment Finally. as you look at this area, <laughs> the walls mostly obscuring what's inside, uh, where silence just drifts over everything. Then the sound of wood shifting, a metallic crank turning as across the way, and the this large section of bridge extends out, opens. And very slowly comes to a stop in front of you, hits the ground. It's a path large enough for the carriage you were on to cross, but it doesn't seem like they have any intention of crossing it. You see two more of these uh, armored shrine maiden women standing on the other side, on the other side of what appears to be gates. There's some torches and lights set up in this area that make it a bit easier to see. But it is, like everything else, still bathed in darkness for the most part. Hmm. Good. <sighs> Shall we? Mm-hmm. Don't want to keep anyone choice. waiting. I'll start walking forward. Same. Following. Indeed. Alright, rather than move everybody around the map, I'm going to just pick a person. We're going to use them as the point of view character. We'll just grab Avi. Mm-hmm. There you she goes! Proceed Whoa. forward. Ah! You see as you come forward to where the women are, there's a large gate between these two large sections of uh, raised, fortified gate that's in front of you. There's this metal gate that is slid between them. As you come close, you hear it begin to rattle. And it pulls to the side, allowing you in. That Previously, that stretched across here, where I just drew an arrow. Mm -hmm. This 20-foot okay. wide, 20-foot uh, high metallic gate that appears to have uh, slid into the right side. As you guys walk in, there's sand under your feet. The structure is clearly artificial, but under your feet there's packed sand constituting the ground. So here's the path that goes up and seems to go around the elevated area, but the area that's in front of you, the wall that's currently in front of you, that one extends up 50 feet or so. So the end, uh, the top of the wall that you can see there is about 50 feet high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continuing to move forward, assuming you do, just so I don't have mm -hmm. to. You guys pass by what appear to be some kind of lodgings. As you come in and walk around. The Shrine Maiden women that you see when you come in do seem to put their hands out in the directions they want to beckon you as you move forward in the structure. Uh, every time you turn around, they seem to vanish from sight after they're gone a certain distance. And then turning back, you see more will have appeared ahead of you. Maybe one, at most two at a time, seemingly showing you the direction they want you to go in. You would see there are... I'm going to grab a thing real quick. There are, there's a major watchtower you can see as you enter, which is right about there. If anybody would like to, ro I'd like the group to roll me a perception check, collectively. Oh. Boa. Okay. Good day. Yeah, that's nice. Right. 12. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Better than a four. Damn. What? What Memric, you clock that there are hey. three figures up on the top of this massive watchtower. Uh, the watchtower itself, it would be, let's see, 30 feet up and then another... How far would you be? The top of it is roughly... I'll give you an accurate number here. The top of it is... Got a lot of notes. Give me one sec. Yeah. I'll go take it down. It might, it might, it might you know, matter someday, but you guys try to burn this place down. So I got to make sure you yeah. know what's up. How will we yeah. do that? It's a nice place. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You are dealing yeah. with hobby. It's it's a plausible thing to play for. The watchtowers sure. uh, are 70 feet above where you are. 
Uh, they seem to, they extend up about 70 feet from, we'll call ground level where you are right now, 70 feet up from there. And you see three figures that you can only quite tell that they're there, because again, more of those butterflies are fluttering around them. Uh, it mm -hmm. seems to be more of these shrine maiden women, who all seem to be vaguely identical. Um, there's small differences between them, but they all have their eyes covered, and the only major thing you can tell is some of them look slightly older, some of them have shorter hair, but they all have silver hair, um, that mostly pours out from under the hoods, and they all wear the same butterfly pattern mantles. Are they just standing? Are they, like, at any sort of, like, uh, they're watching. attention, or... Okay. They're watching. They're doing watchtower business. I'm gonna wave at them. I've been waving at everybody. <laughs> they don't respond. <laughs> okay. Like, I would the wave to the people before. These guys aren't afraid of us, though, so it should be fine. Mm. <laughs> As you continue to move forward, you are beckoned up a path. You come to a large ramp. This ramp is what takes you up the 30 feet to the next level, so as you progress up this, you end up elevated um, and find a new the new ground level there is 30 feet above where you were previously. Coming to it, you find yourself to be in the middle of an, a large area. Um, several houses surround you, more walls. You can see a couple of buildings off in the that direction that I've just pointed on the map. Uh, you actually see steam rising up from that direction. Oh. Mm. Uh, from what appear to be the tops of two buildings. Uh, to your right appears to be a very large, what looks to be some kind of manor that uh, almost looks tavern-like. It almost looks like a large inn. Um, you could guess what it's for. It's up to you to decide. In the distance, you see there's a pathway that seems to lead to another set of houses. It goes around the large central area. You see some trees. Which, again, are the same kind of trees you saw on the uh, silk plantation. They are uh, blood hive trees. Ah. You see some buildings up there. You don't know the purpose of them. All of them, again, have a Kahulian structure. But the main thing that you notice as you walk forward is... Again, the map's kind of in the way here. But I'm just going to move you here so you can see this. One, one moment. In the center of the entire structure is a very large manor, a three-tiered, um, what resembles this very wide pagoda that rises up uh, well above everything else here except for maybe the watchtowers. It appears to be, again, three stories tall, but the top story appears to be open concept. You can see it appears to be a large deck with a canopy on it. Uh, you can see that you're not literally in the courtyard yet, but I had to move the token there for you guys to be able to see the side of it. Yeah. What's a pagoda? Uh, pagoda's a... Uh, do you know the, um, the Japanese shrines that look like tower, like layered towers? Mm, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. A, yeah. that's a pagoda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, Logan, I, I tried to remind myself last week to ask you this, and I don't know anything if that's the, if that's the case. Um, would I know of, uh, like, Cthulian, like, uh, wardrobe at all? Like, would I know anything of that? Yeah, you would know generally, um, the general vibe of it. You know about enough about material plane culture to know that this place is Cthulian. I need okay. to dwell on this for a second, because you said Cthulian. Uh, I know that. I, I, ignore, I ignore that. I love it. Not Cthulhu. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, you tried to talk uh, to Lulu in the mist, so you're fine. No, uh, I did. <laughs> I almost forgot about that, actually. I didn't mention it before. I just mentioned I was blind. Uh, I just wanted oh. to know, because uh, I have the, the glamoured uh, leather. I was wanting to, like, actually have, like, a bit of a uh, Kahulian uh, look to my clothing. Sure. Possible. You could change oh. it to do that. Thank you. So you change yourself to be wearing, like, um, like, Yukata like, yeah, like, and whatnot? Like, like, fancy, like, Yukata, ro like, like, rogue kind of thing. Especially, like, mostly just when I'm in my elf form okay. here. As you come up to here, you seem to stop being directed by anybody in particular. Uh, the, the women disappear, fading out into the background. The ones that are up in the watchtowers would still be there. I'd also note that though you can't see them, uh, because of the way the map works, because there's a lot of walls, there's another similar watchtower over there. And there is another one. One sec. And there's another one up. Th come on. Up there. Oh. They raise above the structure so you would see that there's these three watchtowers that all seem to be. Uh, same basic design. You can't really see who's in them, but you could conclude they're similarly watched. This place is big. Whenever there aren't people like leading us anymore, I will just say, like, kind of just a little bit low, just everybody. 
I probably don't need to tell you this, but there are people watching us from those towers. Mm hmm. Three sure. figures I saw before, very similar to each other. Not sure how well that is going to be for us, though. That might like just have to be something we'll have to get used to while we're in here. Hmm. I feel like there's more than just them watching us. Of course there are. Mm -hmm. We are expected. Indeed. Mm -hmm. More than likely. You hear the distant sound of a, of what uh, sounds like a wooden gate creaking. And by distant, not terribly far. Enough that um, but you recognize that it is coming from uh, directly in front of you. About 50 feet away, the gates uh, that pass through the, uh, the walls surrounding the internal manor, uh, they open. And out steps two figures. One that you recognize one being the man who had come to greet you whenever you first arrived in Honokuni. And the other figure uh, being what appears to be a relatively young-looking elven man, elven boy, <laughs> to be specific. Um, <laughs> to call him a man would be to paint the wrong image. Uh, mm -hmm. They have white hair that is swept back uh, across their head. They're wearing... Um, gold and red robes that look like those of nobility that have ties and knots in them that you can tell are not there for any functional purpose. They're ornamental and meant to signify uh, wealth. You see them wearing these lines of beads that run across their chest uh, that are black pearls and what look to be kunzite uh, spheres that form these beads that go across them. You see them holding a, uh, what looks to be a cup of some kind of steaming liquid, you presume tea, as they walk towards you guys. P red eyes that seem to catch the little light that comes here from the moon and reflects back. A, tw a amused smile, almost twisted but not quite, on their face as they pass through the gates, leading ahead of the swordsmen. See all of you. And they seem to become somewhat excited for a moment, like like a child who'd seen friends that they were waiting to come spend time with them. You see, this young man. Should we stop in the inn for a save, oh. or...? <laughs> oh, he's gonna kill all of us. Yeah. No, this, this dude yeah. definitely rips off insect wings. For oh, yeah. 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 Fucking yeah. 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 What, 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 what if he's nice? Yeah. Yeah, I doubt that. <laughs> What if? He looks like a fuck maniac. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. <laughs> um, how far away are they from us? About or 50 feet specifically. before they start moving. Uh, from you, about 50 feet. Wait. Uh, can I do divine sense just to get a read on them? Sure. Uh, they would not set it off. Oh, okay. Oh. They seem to be alive. Cool. All right. Good for I them. Good for them. <laughs> the silver-clad swordsman walking behind the younger man. The younger man walks in your direction excitedly, but slowly, very patiently. Uh, as they move forward and they head towards you, they come up and get within about 20 feet-ish. As they do, the silver-clad uh, swordsman, who you know as Hirohito from, uh, from Mother Tear, having mentioned it, you see them bring out a lantern and light it behind the younger man who steps forward, very briefly does a very small bow to the group in silence, and then raises his head. I'm glad that you could make it so quickly. Most people don't. When I invite guests here, very often, they take their time coming to visit me. So thank you very much. I appreciate your haste. <laughs> we didn't wish to be rude. Respect is very important from where I come from. He'll tag well, uh, do a very deep bow to him as well. <laughs> Noticing that he bows, Lexi curtsies <laughs> clumsily. He'll also do a bow. A respectful nod of the head is what he does. <laughs> nice. Navi, as you bow. do that, you catch the eyes of Hirohito, like, 
you they, there's no real change in expression on them, but as you don't bow, you feel this just sense coming from them that their their attention is locked onto you. This wave <laughs> of this chill that sweeps over you. She'll mm. take a breath and actually fucking bow. Mm. Oh. Might I assume that you are Lord Saigo? That's me. The last of my line and the Lord of Honokuni, and your gracious host. And I'm very happy to entertain you. Hmm. Unfortunately, we, I had planned to ask you all to come and eat dinner with us, so that we could learn more about you before you begin your stay here. But... We're not exactly ready yet. We thought that you might take longer. If you don't mind, would you mind giving us some time before we invite you in? How much time? Well, since you're here, what kind of food do you all like? <laughs> Being silent. I, that's a good <laughs> question. Uh... Tag, like, looks up, kind of thinks. I don't remember. Um, Do you like strawberries? I think I vaguely remember liking strawberries. I don't like strawberries, but I don't know if they're going to be the same in this world, so I'm kind of afraid to ask. Um, I mean, we've noticed that you know, this place uh, rids food of its taste, uh, so... Oh, you won't find that to be a problem here. Ah, I like it here already. Yorika Castle is the source of all pleasure within Honokuni. Everything here is exactly what it should be. It's perfect here. Uh, yes. Um. <clears throat> then if I would, of course, lush greens and juicy meats would be very at home with me. And, of course, I believe stews and soups of like. Absolutely. <laughs> Fenris noises. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> She'd be freaking out right now. We'll just take everything we would normally cook and we'll put it in a stew for you. Uh, absolutely, that's what we can do for you, Fenris. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Marion? Oh. <laughs> what do you enjoy? I'm a fan of bread. Well, she's not here, so you can... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it can't it's be me. It can't, it can't be me that brings us out. That that makes me less credible. <laughs> Just bread. Pastries, anything like that. That can be arranged. Ooh. I understand, based on some things you've done before, that you're a man who enjoys wine, right? Cool. I dabble from time to time, yes. Hmm. Well, then you're going to enjoy it here. Color me excited. We'll prepare for all of you. We'll be ready in about eight hours or so. You've had a long journey here, so you can see yourselves to wherever you want here. I don't mind if you wander around. This place is open. If anything is locked, uh, of course, take that as a sign that you shouldn't go in. But there are some quarters. Uh, Hirohito, could you please show them to where they'll be staying while they're in the castle? To which he closes his eyes briefly and nods in affirmation. Excellent. I'm going to head back into the manor in the meantime. I want to oversee everybody getting ready. He turns to all of you. I'll see you then. He'll bow again. Hmm. I look forward to catching up with all of you. Uh, you said everybody getting ready. Is there some sort of dress code, or are we okay? Hmm. Well, I suppose you came dressed the way you did, so that'll have to make do. Fucking ouch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> damn. I did Thank not you very much for your comments. hospitality. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, okay, uh, thank you. He turns, walks back towards the gate, back through it. Hirohito stays where he is, looks to all of you, the lantern, casting quite, uh, contrasting shadows on his face. I'm glad you decided to come so quickly. Ah, you speak. Yes, I, I invited you here. <laughs> right. You did. That was like 40 years to a week ago, man. Come yeah. on. <laughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> right. So I have a six wisdom. And, uh... <laughs> oh my god. Shit. I'm sure that I don't have to tell you all not to make any trouble for my lord while you're here. Hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I say nothing. Of course, we beg your forbearance if we make any faux pas that we are unaware of. Hmm. Hmm. Act kindly. Show my lord respect. And nothing will happen to you while you're here. You are guests, and you will be treated kindly. I promise that. Hmm. Hmm. He begins to walk. Walks past the house that you're currently, the, the large um, inn-like structure. Walks past it. Uh, around the bend. I'm going to move you guys again, assuming that you follow behind him. Walks by a couple more houses. Oh, it was me. Yay. Yep. <laughs> Walks by a couple more houses, comes to an area where, uh, as he approaches it, you see a fire is already lit between a series of uh, three smaller houses that look quite good. Uh, Avi, they're individually much better than uh, where you stayed. Uh, they are they look upper class, the kind of thing that a, a noble might uh, enjoy staying in. There's one larger building that is just below you uh, that is sitting alongside them that uh, seems to paper doors. Uh, all the all the buildings in constructions here seem to be made of uh, a combination of like shoji doors, which are, you know, for those of you that don't know the term, uh, papered sliding doors, and uh, cherry wood. Uh, this red polished cherry wood that some of the buildings seem older than others. As you come over to them, he refers to the three buildings along the wall. You can stay in there. Anytime you come to the castle and wish to visit, you can treat those as if they're yours. He then turns his lantern towards the larger building that sits along the uh, the southeastern side of the wall. I don't recommend bothering anybody who's in there. If anybody is home, there are people that you're going to want to avoid. This one? Yes. Okay. Currently. I don't believe any of them are here, though. So don't worry about it. Previous guests? Some of the abodes here are reserved for special people who stay here. Those who are close to my lord. And this building in particular is reserved for the sort of person who can do what they want. So if you were to upset them here, there'd be nothing that we could say about them taking out their anger on you. A table. We'll keep that in mind. That is correct. Hmm. Are we uh, expected to bring any sort of gift to dinner? I can't imagine there's anything you could offer my lord that he does not already possess. Hmm. I wanted to make sure. Do you are guests here? <sighs> Behave and you can relax. If you need anything, let one of the butterflies know. He, like, refers up towards the watchtowers. As he does, he then, like, his eyes shift towards the buildings, and one of them fades in as if having been invisible in front of one of the buildings that you've been offered. Mm. Crimson butterflies will bring you whatever you want, as long as it's reasonable. And you have nothing to fear from them. Fantastic. Anyways, 
I don't mean to take up too much of your time. I'll head back to my lord. Next time you see me, I'll be bringing you to the castle. I look forward to seeing you. He turns. He walks back up and around, following the path, and heads back towards the central complex. Huh. Wow. Oh, all right. Um, we've got some time to kill. I'm going to go explore. Now, what kind of a kid mm. doesn't like presents? A kid who Indeed. has everything? Kid mm -hmm. yeah. You can give him that <laughs> bug. Oh, wait, no, I don't, I don't know you have the bug. That's right. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, he might enjoy, like, ripping it apart. Uh, oh, oh, no. Well, definitely I guess not giving it to him. him. The gift oh, they seem to seek is company. Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh. And then so I will try to be the best company I can be. Yeah. Oh. So we can sneak around. I want to check out the, um, like, the inside of, like, these guest buildings. Okay. That he said we could stay in. Yep. The three buildings that are along the edges of, uh, along the edge of the area. Again, they're all quite nice. Probably some of the better places. A lot of you have stayed in a castle, so, you know, it's hard to compare, <laughs> but they're, they're well furnished for what you expect of this place going in. Uh, each of them has, what is this there? Um, uh, each of these relatively identical buildings uh, has four bedrooms each. Uh, each of them has uh, what appear to be floor mats. They do not appear to have beds as most of you would know them. Uh, but they do have floor mats. They do have very thick blankets, comforters. Um, they appear to have guest clothes that are basic robes and whatnot that are hanging about. Each of them also has a... Uh, each of them also has a common area, very small, like, kitchen unit. Um, what looks like basic tools, knives, and whatnot that one could use to prepare food, eat food. As you enter, though, as you come in, there is this sense of dread that fills you as if being here seems almost taboo, as if you've walked into a graveyard. Oh. Oh. They're all I do not like that feeling. As mentioned, they all have the doors, and most of the areas uh, function using um, sliding paper doors and such. So, sound is not well insulated here. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, um, anybody else get that spooky feeling? Yeah. Oh, me. good. I was afraid that was just me. Okay, Enough I had it the entire time, but now it's worse. Enough that I think I'll be resting like by the fire. Mm. Uh, right. Hmm. Other than that, it's quite a, quite accommodating. Mm. Very nice. Huh. Hmm. While it's huh? not Kahulian, if they want us to be in better dress, I did bring. Uh, little red piece. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, then Flashbacks. you look really good, Davi. Flashbacks to Vogan and Quinn helping you get it, and they're no longer here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so Aww. sad. <laughs> that is a little sad, huh? <laughs> like, dude, I was literally saying to Hayden the other day, like, how weird it is that, like, OGs that are left is, like, Lexi, Fenris, and Miriam. Yeah, Everybody man. else be different. <laughs> Mm. It was crazy. Anyway, go on. <laughs> that they didn't seem to like me that much, so I thought it might win our favor a little bit if at least one of us is putting in that kind of effort. I mean, that's fair. I don't I'm know. sure you would look quite beautiful in it. Mm. Indeed. You don't get to compliment me. Oh, oh I'm Do sorry. Guys. Do you guys think it's anywhere around here? Where they won't be watched at all. No. Oh, I highly doubt that. So there's no way that I could, you know, <clears throat> use magic to make myself change. Maybe inside of one of the homes. Mm -mm. I doubt they'll care. Mm -hmm. You think? This place has no 
the holdups that we have in, I guess, Tomnus Tommen as a whole don't exist in the same way here, I don't think. Mm. We are invited mm. guests of the lord of this entire land. If anyone has a problem with you, they have a problem with them. And I don't imagine people with a problem with them live very long. Hmm. That's a fair point. Mm. Well, okay. Well, if Abby's gonna wear a pretty dress, then I will also look like I'm wearing a pretty dress. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Fucking tag. <laughs> <laughs> You know it's too much. Get him! <laughs> Scam. Well, I doubt that wings and horns would look very good with this uh, garb that I currently have. I'll stick with how I am. Hmm. Something against wings, Nemric. Oh, I love my wings. They're perfect. Something it's against just... horns, Nemric. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have them all. I've had them all my life. I quite enjoy them. It's just a lot of people don't seem to. I have plenty of things against horns, don't take it personally. But yours oh. are so nice. It doesn't look Clear. like you, it doesn't look like you well do much with them though. I what? thought about cutting them off once. <laughs> oh. That sounds quite painful. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it. In fact that Yeah, fair. Mm. <clears throat> Looking concerned. Um, same. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go explore. Leave this awkwardness. Bye. I'm gonna figure out what makes me feel so uncomfortable here, other than everything. Mm-hmm. Right. Ty's just gonna wander. Alrighty. Oh, snooping. Got any particular? Near yeah, so as you uh, as you wander about, you would pass by um, two buildings. There's one up to your north. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna move your piece here so that you're kind of more bam able to see around walls and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm snooping with them. Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm aware, but I don't move all of the tokens. Sorry. No, I just wanted to make sure. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trying to give us a lighting angle that allows you guys to see the most, so you know where to see. No, sneak. that's all good. That's all good. Yeah, there's uh, the area with two watchtowers appears to have another what appears to be section with trees, uh, flowers, and whatnot within it. Some greenery does exist in the area. The building that is in front of you up to the north, as you pass by it, uh, that one appears to be some kind of guardhouse. Uh, mm. You can see that it is, a large part of it is a deck that has a canopy over the top of it, and inside you can see through the windows that are in it, um, it appears to mostly be just a large common area that is relatively common for uh, off-duty soldiers and guards and such. The building that is on your left, as you walk by it, has a large reinforced, uh, a large door with a reinforced metal, uh, metal casing, like running along the outside of the door itself, and appears to have no windows. The one that is a bit farther down, the one that is like on the other side of the houses where you guys were staying. Uh, that one, looking inside of it, you could tell appears to be some kind of uh, medical building or infirmary. Its exact use is beyond you, but it had windows, and you could see through them that there are what appear to be medical equipment and tools inside. Cool. All right. This is maybe the one time like, I've ever been like, this music fits. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like... The infirmary, does it look like normal, or does it look like some sort of nefarious surgeries are going on here? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, did I forget to mention the Frankenstein like monsters being put together and rising out the windows? Did we forget to mention a picture of Dr. Thwart's spine on the outside? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just checking. Bitch. He's, he's just on the front of a motivational poster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, cool. The the building here right? that was the one with like the big metal casing on the like around yep. the door, like and no, no windows. windows or anything. Sounds like a jail. <laughs> uh, and that was like a guard station. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just uh, wander further that way. Sure. Yeah. As you wander out that way. 
You come again to the center of this large, what looks like a garden. Ooh. It's it's very strange that the uh, trees and whatnot are growing without any kind of light. You do. You have been told by Tyr that there is um, a day cycle here, but not when there are visitors in Honokuni. That mm-hmm. upon all of your arrivals, an eternal night took hold. However, mm-hmm. the trees and plants here seem to be growing just fine despite that. The trees here appear to be the same pinkish leaves, uh, cherry blossom-like um, plants that have this spotted blood-like pattern on them. Uh, however, there are no dread worms upon these trees. They're not being used to feed anything. Some flowers and whatnot are on the ground. It seems like a different kind of dirt has been used to create a plot of land where things can grow. As you pass by it, you would also be within view of the large, uh, multi-tiered manor. Like, you'd be able to see it on your left, obviously, over the wall. From what you can see of it, it's got numerous rooms inside. You see some lights in some windows. You can't see much beyond that, but you occasionally see, like, a shadow moving against one of the lit inner rooms through the windows, and then it disappears. Well, what kind of flowers are growing here? Like, um, would, I, would I recognize them? Are they pretty? Yeah, it looks like a, a variety of different kinds. Um, uh, most of them are uh, very, like, tulip-like, um, kind of quaint. They're very sparse. They're not growing. They're not flourishing, uh, but they okay. are there. I was I was going to pick one and give it to Fenris, but if there aren't a lot, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> let them let them have the, the small amount of flowers they have. And you will note that there are torches every 15 feet or so, like lanterns that are lit and hung along the walls. Um, that appear to be illuminating this area. They This area is definitely meant to be seen, definitively. Hmm. Lexi, do you think this might be a good place to put our new friend? <gasps> oh, that might be a good idea! Although, no, he'll be fine. He won't destroy the garden. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we could find a nice, uh, safe branch to place him. Do you think he'll be safe here? I think that out of everywhere, this might be the best place. They did say this is the central of all pleasures in this area, right? Mm-hmm. Tag, what do you think? We have we have this little little warm friend, and we, we're not really sure what to do with him. Do you think he would be safe here? Um, well, if this place looks like it is well tended, and if they find a uh, a worm here when they're tending it, they might either, you know, get rid of it or mm, let it stay. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Mm. So what you're saying is we need to hide them really good. That you is exactly what I'm saying. Okay. You think you're up to the task? Yes. Logan, I would like to hide this worm really good. Only a slight of hand check. <laughs> Hell <worm>. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so Sounds annoyed. like an innuendo. Natural <laughs> one. Just places it on a tree. Yeah. I love Lexi. Uh, what, what type of tree did you say it was, by the way? Uh, blood hive trees. Blood hive. I think they they look like yeah, they look like cherry there. blossom trees, but with a different coloration on the uh, the flowers and bulbs. Of a crimson look to them, right? Yeah. More reddish it's sort of cherry blossom tree. Of hand. Mm, okay. Yep. Yeah, you okay. find a nice place, uh, secure it uh, around some branches where it will be a little bit less obvious, where there aren't as many of the flowers and petals. So, in theory, it shouldn't be paid as much attention to. You find a place to secure it. You nestle it in. Okay. Stay, stay hidden and stay strong, warm friend. <laughs> When she She's returns, like, I want to look into a complete. I want to be looking at a completely different tree. Like, oh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> He's already gone, and I'll never tell you where he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he has to stay safe and hidden. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Um. More exploring. Here we go. <laughs> Meow. Where are you going? This area basically dead ends. Um, yeah, it, that way. Just yeah, this area basically dead ends with the twenty foot walls coming up. The watchtowers mm-hmm. extend. And when you go by them, by the way, the watchtowers uh, they have 
uh, large open doorways that just lead into a central, relatively hollow room that seems to just have a ladder that extends up, presumably going up to the top of them. There doesn't appear to be anything mm -hmm. special about the inside. Beyond that, they are very big. They are... They are bigger than most houses, these watchtowers. Okay. They are 40 feet tall, and how how wide are they? And the they, inside they put are all their resources into one basket. 45 <laughs> square feet. This place is clearly cares about defense, mm -hmm. despite the fact oh. that each one appears to be manned with three of the people that Hirohito mm -hmm. refers to as butterflies. Mm -hmm. Oh, random sidebar. I just realized that the Snoop and crew is the 69ers, but. Not the 69ers. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sad. Uh, that's you, fun. you pass by the the front gates, which appear to have been closed now. Uh, you pass mm -hmm. by the large building that looks like it may have been quarters for something at some point. But uh, as you do, there's a soft squeak that comes from the door that hangs open as the wind causes it to move slowly. Like an old abandoned haunted house, you hear the hinges um, letting out a depressed whine. Oh. Spooky. Mm -hmm. Um. Then, uh, what appears to be that way? Just from looking down there? More buildings, more trees. More buildings, more trees. That area is right. lit up as well. I will oh. head in there, head in there, and then, and then I think there's like a pathway down up yeah. there or something. Heading past the watchtower, you come around and you would recognize... Uh, the two buildings that were giving off steam when you come around here, uh, they Hi. appear to be bathhouses. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Relatively large ones. Uh, ones that you might recognize given your history as uh, they appear to be just you know, communal bathhouses. And there's one building that looks like a low-lying shed that once again has no windows uh, and has what appears to be a reinforced door. Are there, are there any of the, the butterflies around? Uh, not here. Not beyond, you know, the okay. watchtower that's right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can, he said we can just ask uh, any of the butterflies, or that specific one he, like, directed over there. He said just ask the butterflies. Okay. I want to go over to the watchtower over there mm -hmm. <laughs> and just uh, yell up at them. Are, are the bathhouses open to, the, to anybody, or is that for the Lord? <laughs> Please let the bathhouses be open to anybody. <laughs> that would be cool. As you do, as you yell up to them, they don't seem to do anything. Um, there's just a long silence from them. Um, try, should we try to open the very door? Very suddenly, as you, you turn to the person beside you, you see that there is one of the butterflies who has apparated beside you very suddenly. Oh. And they oh. kind of catch you off guard. All of you move back a little bit as you see their hands are outstretched. And you see that within them, they are offering several towels, upon which appears to be a bucket. Oh. Love you. <laughs> I will take. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. They you bow. Uh, Clumsy curtsy. Well, I'm done exploring. Uh, shame. <laughs> Should we tell the others that this place is here, though? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, here, here I was hoping to relax without people staring at me with daggers. Alright, oh, others? Are you, <laughs> others, are you guys doing anything in the meantime? They probably would have been exploring for about 20, 30 minutes. I will try one thing in the meantime. Okay. Uh, you guys have been to say flex, though? We can get to run to my thing. Oh, I was uh, briefly going to ask, like, um, uh, Mr. Merriam, uh, you, um, I was thinking... I know they said we did not have to bring a gift, but do you think it might ingratiate us if I were to make some sort of small uh, clockwork uh, toy, perhaps? I am unsure as to what that would do to their disposition. I see. They might enjoy um, it. They might believe you're infantilizing them. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, that is a good point. Hmm. Yeah, it would not, it would not be good to make assumptions based on so little information. Um, I, will, I will think on this. I'm sorry, was I uh, uh, interrupting? You looked like you were I about something. I am just looking for, and I'm gonna pull out of one of my rations, I'm gonna pull uh, just a, a couple small pieces of food. Um, and I'm gonna try one of them immediately. 
Does it taste any different while we're here? It seems to taste normal. All right, that answers my question. I put the other one away. Hmm. Hmm. Was something different? It tastes fine. It, it, we can taste things here. I see. So what is it about this place that seems to nullify the, the effects of the rest of this world? Hmm. Is it something about that kid? Perhaps. Oh, mm -hmm. blimey, I'm Fenris. Exactly. The trans kid's <laughs> <laughs> Could be the child, or perhaps some sort of magic spell cast upon the the castle itself. Possibly. Did anyone else notice his necklaces? Those beads? They're quite pretty. Hmm? Nothing in particular. Was there something noteworthy about them? No, just the gem. Kind of looked like, and I'll just tap Miriam's armor. Yeah. The Kunzites that, uh, the, uh, at least the Kunzite looking material that their, uh, their necklace was made out of appears to match the Kunzite gemstones that are inlaid as studs into your armor. Hopefully that's not what I'm here looking for, because that's going to be a problem. With our luck, it very well could be. <laughs> okay, we'll let Tag try first. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly hope it does not come to that. It would be a very powerful enemy to make in this place. I believe it would be a death sentence. At least, as of time of speaking. True. I feel if we ask mm. about it whatsoever, we'll be in trouble. Indeed. Hmm. hmm. I was going okay, to do that. Just looking around as- oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 He just looks down for a second and like, I was going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> then don't put us in any any trouble, Miriam. I mean, I'm definitely the reason we're here. So, no. really for that. <laughs> you are? I had to put that together. I mean, you couldn't have known. I, what? <laughs> I made a bit of a deal with a friend to uh, help find something, and apparently it's here. I think he arranged for me to be invited. I don't know about Fenris. So, hey, to be fair, it's not entirely my fault. It's partially her fault. <laughs> Can I see? If I get home and it's been a hundred years, that's... I'll get you back. <laughs> And hey, um, technically, if we get back and it's been a hundred years, you're single again. So then it's not wrong for me to hit on you. Wow. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, no. Really? I'm yes, making boy. light of a bad situation. <laughs> Your boy will be waiting for you. I hate you so much. <laughs> I feel like you would have killed me by now. You've threatened me for how many months at this point? Maybe I'm just biding my time. I feel like you could have made your choice by now. Is it possible for you not to hit me? I'll punch him. I'm going to try and dodge. I fail. <laughs> <laughs> See? You dodge into it. <laughs> it is possible. I'm just choosing not to. Bingo card. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Where do you think the others went? Hopefully not doing anything stupid. Anyone who is coming to meet with them at this point to come get them for the bathhouses, you would arrive now. We found baths! Guys, guys we found baths! <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, good. Are they, like, filled with snakes? No, they're, like, no, actual like... nice baths. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can drown Miriam. Something happened. <laughs> no, that's just kind of the general vibe. It's okay. Yeah, I, I think yeah, this is like Avi's love language is violence. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> violence and Master Marion. avid expression oh. of hatred. Oh. Otherwise, they just really don't like me. <laughs> I hope it's not that. Um, if you would stop hitting on me, we'd be fine. <laughs> but you won't. <laughs> Look, magic towels. <laughs> those, are, those are regular towels, Lexi. They were magic here, though. Butterfly women? Uh huh. Butterfly women. Butterfly women. All right. Mm -hmm. I stroll in. I will stroll into the bathhouse. <laughs> as you do, as you walk in, uh, you would have all, at some point or another, probably been relatively familiar with bathhouses um, of different sorts, but. Communal bathhouses like this are a bit more native to, uh, to Kahulis. Um, but even then, your expectations would be there'd be some kind of separation between, uh, heck and, you know, men and women within them. As you walk in, there's not. They're, each of them has, let's see, uh, each of them consists of three major areas. There appear to be a storage room, like a small storage, like, locker-like area where p things can be set and hidden. Uh, there's a communal changing area and then the bathing areas themselves which when you go in each one appears to have rudimentary sort of old school faucets uh there is there are vents that steam is coming out of from below the building but there appear to be some kind of old uh faucets for two of the baths that are shown that are within these places each of the baths is large enough it looks like it could fit probably about 10 people in it they're large and rectangular and like have a sitting area on the perimeter of them the those ones like i said have effectively taps and then there's a third one in each of these bathhouses that seems to have what appears to be a statue of some kind of like celestial figure uh that you can't tell exactly what its description is but just like an angel holding up a bucket from which uh it looks like why it could be set to have water pour down Ooh. oh hmm. oh very fancy hmm. I'm going to snoop around and see if I can figure out how to get the water to pour out of it. Of uh, the main mm -hmm. statue? Yee. Yeah. Quick searching, you'd see that there are some... There's a valve on it. I'm going to turn it. As you do, <laughs> cold water begins pouring down from it slowly at first, and then as it picks up in pace, uh, a... Uh, a grate effectively within the statue causes it to split apart in the same way as... A very heavy shower, like not, not as split mm. apart in streams as a shower would be, but similar to. It then pours down at the bottom, seems to uh, fill about an inch of this large tub-like area, and then it drains down in a drain in the floor. Oh. oh. Hmm. Very cool. And this one is very mm -hmm. cold. In construction. Oh. It's very cold. It's yes. real cold. Hmm. Is there a temperature gauge nope. somewhere? Each okay. one is one valve. What happens mm. if I turn the valve more? Then water will come out quicker until a point where it comes out as fast as it can, and then it ceases coming out faster. Yeah. And apparently the valve also the excites the valve. piano man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very dramatic valve. Attempts mm. to try the other valve to see if it is also cold. Uh, on one of the other baths? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Pick A or B. B. As you do, A it begins pouring out water that starts slowly. Uh, several different pipes begin draining out into the tub, um, filling it relatively quickly. It looks like it would take a while. A very faint amount of steam breaks from the surface of the water as it pours. It is hot enough to be, you know, a warm bath, but it doesn't appear to be scalding. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, perfect. Wonderful. Are there any buckets? Or yes, any there would be buckets around here. Mm -hmm. uh, Avi will disrobe and go to the cold uh, like faucet and start filling the bucket with water and just pouring it over herself like she oh. would in her home. All right. So thought you were going to throw it at Miriam. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I just rope, then throw a bucket of water in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, All right. <laughs> Don't know why you got to be naked for that, but go off, girl. Get it. <laughs> Ignoring oh. everybody. Pouring water on yourself. Mary will turn and just call it into the ether. Is there any way we can have laundry done while we're here before dinner? 
There's nothing for a minute. And you turn. And there is one of the butterflies behind you, just out of your periphery. Perfect, thank you. And they put their hand <laughs> every time, hands out every to time you. Every time they appear, you hear a... Uh, as they put their hands out, <laughs> I, yeah. begin, I begin disrobing. <laughs> I'll just hand them my clothes. Mm-hmm. We'll do the same. Yeah, all of you, in your clothes. We've been walking through the snow and dirt for weeks. Yep. Yeah, we're broke. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does it? Very much. These clothes haven't been washed in a hundred years. <laughs> Ew, you're a stinky. <laughs> I remove my pants. <laughs> Giant <laughs> robot dong. <laughs> it's an actual hose that unfurls. <laughs> And <laughs> reality research. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I would say Flux, um, you would probably want to if you wanted to get involved in you showering or bathing, you'd probably want to remove your armor as to prevent it from rusting. Oh, <laughs> But so much of my body is covered in it. <laughs> yeah, that's the cost of having integrated protection, I guess. But if if oh it got God. wet, it might start to rust. Flux feeling naked for the first time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I'll take an hour to <laughs> disintegrate all the metal parts of my body. Disintegrate? What? Oh. Then to deintegrate. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 That's that's correct statement what he said. It's like, oh no, they're yeah. gone forever. It takes, it takes about a half hour for um, any of these given, or about 20 minutes for any of these given tubs to fill with water. So, hmm. that's... Uh, we got time. Yeah, yeah we got time. Yeah. Is deintegrating the faster what I would by if someone ate him? Uh, hmm. For the purposes of what we're doing, sure. You guys could help okay. him. To get his armor removed from the uh, more sinuous elements of his warforged body, and uh, as you do, he you see Flux laid more bare than you'd ever seen him before. He looks <laughs> quite sp- a bit more spindly without a lot of his mass. He seems a lot more uh, lanky, very long, very Groot-ish. Uh, there's still some like <laughs> copper and metallic elements to him that are naturally part of him, but there's a lot more like wood and what looks like organic tubing and whatnot on his body that you were aware of. Nice. Aww. This is an odd sensation I have not felt in quite some time. You still look really cool, little Flux. Oh, thank you, Master Lexi. Mm-hmm. I... We'll, get... we'll get those I am butt-ass we'll naked in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No reaction. Yeah. It's completely, yeah. completely unfazed. Mm. Hell yeah. Said Miriam was mimicking what Avi was doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. She's ignoring him completely and just doing her thing. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting with my, my twitsies in the water. You guys are collectively throw. using okay. that one bath? Yeah, I think so. Seems like it. Yeah. Yeah, already. <laughs> it's warm. <laughs> uh-huh. We want the warm one. <laughs> mm. The thing is, that's not the warm one. Yeah. <gasps> that's the... That's the, the, that's the Well, I guess technically I that's the warm the one. one. The other oh. one, if anyone turns it on, the other one, steam would gush from it. It's very hot. It, like it is that the other one. one approaches hot spring levels of heat. That oh. one. I go to that one. Okay. <laughs> Same. He's like, yes. <laughs> Lexi can't decide. She keeps going back and forth between the too hot and too cold. <laughs> <laughs> ah, too hot. Ah, yeah. too cold. <laughs> ah, it's too cold. That one's too hot. Okay, I need a bucket and I need a little bit for me. This one's so strange. <laughs> yeah. Now this seems like a bath you could unfurl your wings in. Hmm. Are I you unfurling your wings? Though. I do. Yes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> as I get in, I am fully just snarling at Nemrick as she <laughs> lets her wings just fully unfurl. Trying not to show how good this feels. <laughs> was I right? <laughs> so I looked over like, was I right? She will flip him off. And that's I take that it. as a yes. <sighs> I uh, I pick up Lexi. If they're still being hesitant, and I put them in the hot bath. 
Yep, got to 100. Do it. <laughs> One. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll just start relaxing. <laughs> Probably I hear her counting and I fall asleep. <laughs> you know, with this, I actually believe this is the center of all pleasures. No. By the time I get to nice. about 30, I give up on, like, counting and I just start washing, like, I have, like, my, my, my floofy tail out and my, my ears and stuff when I'm washing. Say, so once you're in for long enough, it's not really that hot anymore. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, I think I've adjusted. It's good. Yeah. All you're doing when you jump Rub back to the colder you. ones is getting yourself cold again to make it hot when you get back in. Oh. Mm -hmm. huh. Keeps the pins and needles going. I see. That's cool. It's good for you from what I understand. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I absolutely hated following all of you through those mountains. How can you stand something that cold? Yeah, Don't I make don't like me it. agree with you on anything. I like to believe you, you are the antithesis of things I like. <laughs> Why would you think that? Because you work for the Queen of Hell. Mm -hmm. What does that say about you more than me? That I pissed off the Queen of Hell. <laughs> that sounds like a really good thing to hear from anyone. If someone's like, yeah, there goes Mariam. He pissed off the Queen of Hell. They'll be like, oh, I must be a good fellow. <laughs> What's with you and pissing off queens? <laughs> I yeah. have that effect on people, apparently. <laughs> on queens? Yeah. Yeah. Javier, is there something you're not telling us? Oh, <laughs> I mean... Are you a queen? you like to know? <laughs> and to be fair, Lexi has a castle, and I don't think I've pissed Lexi off yet. That's true. That little... I can't... I think how to describe it. You know how you can, like, cup your hand in a certain way to make, like, a water gun? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> He's playing in the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> it does not bother me in the slightest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mariam, just because I am following you because of a uh, mutual acquaintance of both of ours doesn't mean we have to be opposites of one another. I think it does, actually. <laughs> I'm here to help you, as I've told you every single time. Absolutely, in the same way that the contract that she gave me benefits me in many ways. <sighs> he just, like, lays back. It I have so much easier no doubt. Could... Okay, on. It would be so much easier if we could, I don't know, have a bit of a... A bit of niceties between all of us. I wasn't the one who did anything to you. Yet. Mm. Yet. Mm. He shrugs. You can't really go against that at all, I suppose. It's fine. I, if, if it helps, I feel kind of the same way about Tag, but he's pleasant. <laughs> like you're like Thank affably you. pleasant. He's like just pleasant, but I still can't trust him because uh and he works for someone who wants me dead. Sorry. You are a very pleasant person, Tag. They're great! Well, thank I'm you. very happy to I'm very happy to have met you. I didn't want to be the new guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Uh thank you for the compliments, I guess. Um I am What's that, Fenris? You really like Tag too? Fenris really likes you too, Tag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense. We've met before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saved Out of her from curiosity, poverty. Tagachi. Mm. Outside of working for a bitch like the Crystal Queen and, you know, feeding oh. kids on the street like Fenris, what else did you get up to in your time? Just curious. What else did I get up to? Um... I was, I did a lot of things, um, well, before, hmm, <laughs> he's trying to, he like thinks, he like looks up like he's thinking, well, back before I met Satsumaru, I had a pretty normal life, um, but, I heard and 
witnessed some of the the deeds that Lord Satsumaru was doing. I felt very inspired when um, when I saw those, and I wanted to, you know, help wherever I could. I wanted to follow in her example. She's a very inspiring woman. What exactly could she have been doing that inspired you? From everything I've heard, she sounds... terrible. <laughs> Before she was a vampire, she was a very... I wouldn't... I wouldn't say kind. She, uh... But she was very... She helped a lot of people. Hmm. In what way? Because a lot of people might think they're helping when truly they're doing more harm than good. Well, helping civilians like like Fenris when she was starving in the streets. Just helping the common folk. Like kind of sinking down in the bathroom looking sad when I was all like doing more harm than good. <laughs> she, uh, she treated all of her followers kindly, and anybody who would, you know, come across her path. But she was not, she was not mortal. She could not relate to us common folk. Well, nonetheless, I still found her very inspiring. I decided to follow her. Put my... Put my skills to use any way I could. So... And then I was, uh... Before she... Became what she is now... I would just, uh do odd jobs for her here and there and took up the sword and worked my way up and eventually gained enough trust to be handling more uh, difficult duties I should say like like retrieving the uh, retrieving that armor there hmm. uh or his, the armor he was wearing. Yeah, it's like I looked at him. And yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> retrieving the armor he was wearing. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. But were the two uh, of you close at all? By the um, end of everything, I wouldn't say we were close companions or friends. But I do, uh, I, like I said, I admire her. <laughs> but, yeah, that's uh, essentially what I was doing for, for her. How did she become a vampire if you were with her during that time? <laughs> what exactly happened? I don't That's know much awful. about her, so I'm just trying to get a picture. That is a very long story. It's, uh... Extremely unfortunate as well. We, um... <clears throat> Let me look through my notes real quick. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Better not get them all wet while in this bath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As he looks through his notes and compiles a story, I am going to say mm -hmm. we should quickly take a break, my friends. Hey, oh, yeah. right, yeah. Almost two hours. Right. Well, well, he goes over what he needs to before he right. goes into this. We're going to yeah. okay, take a quick... It's a lot. A it's quick so five much. to <laughs> ten minute yeah. break. Cool. Heck yeah, I gotta pee. Uh, I hope I've been getting some of the info right uh, as I've been going. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad we're getting uh, lore time while also getting naked time. Yes. Regardless, even if you you aren't, you're speaking from Tag's perspective. 
It's not like mm -hmm. you need to be precisely mm -hmm. accurate. It's yeah. true. Uh, Naked lore. Hi, Chad. Hi, Chad. Exactly. Naked lore dump. Hell yeah. <laughs> The best. This, this seems like it's great to unfurl their wings. I'm not telling you, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I can't help it that she doesn't trust you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I love it. <laughs> okay, cool. Because I love you so there, he's much, Cody. There, he's sitting there like, oh, come on, guys. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a, a, someone who's like your mortal enemy. Let's be, let's give me friends. I'm just a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the most nude the party's ever been. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm like, kinda. I mean, we we went to the bathhouses during the collectively. Party. We went to the bathhouses the yeah. one time. So yeah, this is. We I think we had more people then. So this is the second most nude the party's uh -huh. been. <laughs> Meanwhile, <This> is... <laughs> in hell with the big screen TV, I'm missing the nude time. He says <laughs> nude in hell. I say it's nude in, in a hell. jacuzzi of lava. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's really cool uh, that they said nothing bad can happen to me here, <laughs> right? <laughs> Otherwise, this would be excruciating. <laughs> Definitely uh, how it was phrased. Lifts up his leg. There's just a skeletal leg as he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's turning away. Also, Don, I believe most of us decided to just be super naked last time. I remember right because I remember flipping a coin being like all right is Avi gonna be naked or closed and I landed on naked I think I also fog clouded it being like there you go yeah you, you sure did <laughs> and then the sounds of ships in the mist <laughs> also like John it, it, definitely her you're, yeah you're, you're, <laughs> does spit us out like a hundred years later I mean you'd be potentially out of your contract at that point there's a time <laughs> limit on it <laughs> Yeah, no, it doesn't expire. So long as I live, the contract is is. Well, valid. I mean, they can't. Maybe they can't return Quinn to you if he's dead of old age. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Logan, I sent you a message. Well, I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna look at the message. Please yeah. do. I wish Brad was here for this too. <laughs> yeah. That's fair, Juno Skunk. But it's okay. I'll. She texted me. She's like, "How goes game?" And I was like, "Well." I sent her a picture of fucking the lord, little lord asshole. I was like, it's going. <laughs> the fucking lord here is a child. This little snot, he totally rips off insect wings. That was the last text I sent her. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, <fucking> snot. <laughs> if we dies of old age, what happens to Patrick? Nothing. Miriam still bound by it. Yeah. It was, it, was a, it was a joke. He just cannot have Quinn back. <laughs> so I could technically never try and like ask Fiona to show up and invoke the fourth part and then never give them anything. But then I will die of old age, be resurrected, die of old age again, and then she'll have my soul. So I still have to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the contract is no written anymore. <laughs> extremely in fear in his favor. Yeah. I got a lot out of it, but they, they made sure that I had to follow through on my part of it or doesn't matter how long they wait, doesn't matter, eventually they're either getting stuff or a soul, or both. <laughs> or you could defeat them. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. That's part of it. Was... <laughs> they clearly think that's not going to happen. The offer that that the second most powerful person in the house gave you was in their favor? Crazy. <laughs> All right, Nemrick, we've decided to fight against Fierna. Are you in? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, on the bar of do not fuck with in hell, is like Fierna and Asmodeus. Like, the other ones too? Sure, absolutely. But messing with either of them is like, yeah, okay. Well, enjoy getting your great great grandson killed. Yeah. <laughs> you baka. <laughs> A clockwork sword or a Beyblade? <laughs> oh <my> it's Beyblade! <laughs> <laughs> the idea of Flux handing him a Beyblade is hilarious to me. <laughs> oh, I need to do that. That sounds so cute. <laughs> just hate it so too when you're like, let it rip, sir. <laughs> <laughs> walks up to a servant and rips their face off like that. Yeah. Oh, ah. oh, that is not what I meant at all. 
Uh, I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> oh. I tried to call him. A, listen, that's an Aaron thing, not a Miriam thing. <laughs> Oof. Miriam is not going to call the Queen of Hell a communist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could try it, though. <laughs> you could try. Let me go, you commie. As she dunks me in the fires of Phlegathos and burns my soul. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's okay, you're resistant to fire damage. It's fine. I'm immune to fire damage, except to the fires of Phlegathos. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. <laughs> Those are bad. There's no fire in the world that can burn me, barring the fire of gods who can be like, I don't give a fuck what Fiona said. Chem <laughs> 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 oh. fluxes or is it immune? Because hmm? hmm? fluxes fire goes against resistance, right? Not immunity. Yes. Yeah, I can negate okay. resistance, but uh, immunity is the same, sadly. Yeah. All right, my guys. Everybody think you're ready you to jump back thing. in? What? I want to send you one more thing, Logan. All right, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't matter that I can't bond with all of you guys right now. Maybe I'll. Maybe it'll. Maybe we'll. We'll have a a super bonding experience. <laughs> it'll I've happen. All, we've done. We've done the. We've done the the whole putting a worm on a tree. I think that's pretty bonding. <laughs> it's true. And I helped I get Flux naked, so that's pretty bonding. It's true. Yeah, that's <laughs> real nice of you. He, he appreciated that. Uh. <laughs> friends help friends get naked. It's <laughs> true. And I got back really to attractive. friends get naked. What? <laughs> Really I said friends help friends get naked. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and tag's really attractive, so I guess that's kind of like bonding as well. Tag's <laughs> so hot. So hot. Super hot. Mm -hmm. So hot. It's not okay. And I would say I may- You might I say he's a chill dude. <laughs> 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 it took me too long to like notice whenever I looked at his art that the you could see through the blades. Mm -hmm. It took yeah. me way too it's long to notice hell. that. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> they have the texture and appearance of ice. Mm -hmm. All righty, my guys, we're jumping back in. All right, All right. My turn. Back, my back, turn. It's back in jump time. Bye. Call me, call me, call me Mario, cause I'm I'm Jump Man. I'm Jump Back In Man. Oh, shit. Okay, Mario. Which means I'm now voiced by Chris Pratt. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Chris, back in. No. Fuck off. <laughs> I hope it's amazing. <laughs> kind of same. same. So no. we're not going to talk about Chris Pratt as Mario. It's what we're not going to do. We're going to play our game. Anyway. We're going to talk about Chris Pratt, Pratt playing Satsumaru. Um, oh. <laughs> so. Uh, all right, lead me in. Uh <laughs> Um, Vampire lady. I'm kidding. <laughs> they go. <going. laughs> um, <clears throat> like the, the, the last line was, "How did she become a vampire?" Anyways, ah. all right, all right, oh, bye. Cool. Good, good, cool, great, cool. Did anyone um, know that old <clears throat> man that just came? <laughs> <laughs> so, when she was, uh, you know. Uh, it's still alive. She was tasked with finding um, something she just referred to as the Idolin's messy origins. Shouldn't go into too much detail, but we. Uh, it took her to many places where she would amass followers and whatnot. Um, but. In 640, uh, she took her, uh, well, she took her followers and me to the uh, southern reaches of Sermon Way. Uh, we found what looked like an irregular glacier, uh, which felt everybody there with 
this sense of dread. And in the place, it also, it also seemed like time was just distorted. But, uh, yeah. We, she ordered us to begin excavating the glacier. It was, it took a very long time. So she established a small settlement and kingdom to uh, facilitate it. Um, eventually, one day, she uh, left to check on the dig site uh, with me uh, in tow. Gargantu these gargantuan insectoid feelers and legs made of bone and rotting flesh had been unearthed over several weeks, as if the rotting skeleton of some massive bug were trapped within. On that day, the whatever was inside woke up. And the glacier crumbled. Some massive wave of what seemed like Death spread from the kill from the dig site, killing everyone there except me and Satsumaru. The the wave turned her into what you know was the Crystal Queen. And I got these uh, fancy marks. He you know, gestures to the mark on his forehead. There are some like across his body as well. So that's how she became a vampire. Interesting. How do you think you survived? I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. How do you mean? You? you seem quite lively. <laughs> Appreciate that, but I believe I myself was transformed into something resembling an undead. I don't sleep, I can't... I don't need to eat. <sighs> it's... Yeah. An eternal servant for your crystal queen, I guess. I guess. But... Yeah, she, uh changed dramatically after that event, obviously. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry for bringing the mood down. No, I'm... Bring the mood down. Huh? It got very quiet, so I thought I... No, I'm just thinking... We're just paying attention. Have just you noticed any? Together. Have you noticed any changes in your own behavior since then? Um, um. Hmm. I mean, not as dramatic as uh, hers. No. Hmm. Uh, nothing changed too much for me in the personality department. My goodness. And you were human? I was. Now I, uh, I cease aging, but, yeah. Hmm. 
do you drink blood? <laughs> no, I uh, I don't need to. I don't need anything to sustain me. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> that is good to hear. I'm sorry if that was rude to ask. That's no, fine. It's. I mean. <laughs> I wish I could eat, honestly. I could enjoy my wife's cooking. But. I have a wife. Damn it. <laughs> 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 I do. Hmm. She's... What was she like? <laughs> she was beautiful. She was, uh, she helped me, um, sometimes when, uh, feeding the, the sick and poor. Um, she had a, she had a passion for painting. Mm. She was very talented. Very beautiful. I like, look down. I, uh, I hope she's been fine. Hmm. Was she hmm. human as well? She was. Hmm. <laughs> but <sighs> I hope you're right that we emerge out of this place in our own times. We can only hope. Uh -huh. Hopefully you can get back to the person you love. Hmm. You too, Abby. Elbows her a little bit. <laughs> we'll see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, you have someone out there too? Oh, I apologize. I don't need to pry. Yeah, I do. What's they like? Come on, spill. What do they like? Assume much? Tag? Uh, oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Sorry. Him, Come on, spill it. Spill it. <laughs> He's wonderful. A um, little stubborn. Very stubborn. <laughs> I get that. But, <laughs> very kind. And maybe a little mild and shy, but probably <laughs> the kindest man I've ever met. Kindest he's a vanilla douche canoe, but he's a good guy. Oh, shut <laughs> up! <laughs> hey, you would say the same thing. You're just being soft right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can be a little vanilla, but whatever. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a criticism. <laughs> How the is he a douche, douche canoe, canoe Miriam? Uh, have you talked to him? <laughs> Regularly. Yeah, he's a total douche canoe. No, he is not. <laughs> Thanos also loves somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me. Break Stu? down the problems with Rory Orman, and I'll decide if I want to drown you or not. Uh, Finish was talking about how much you love Tantia real quick. Finish is drowning. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, he he's absolutely begrudged to do his job when pestered by the highest standard. He loathes all of your friends. He constantly demands that you stop committing crime, but never takes any real strides or efforts in getting you to do it. He just asks politely that you do so. Uh, and he's just kind of a, a fluffy rich boy, which is like one of the things you hate the most in the world. But, you know, he's a sweetheart, so you kind of look past that. Oh. Here's you all... You don't like make your, <laughs> your own very difficult to like. It's true. So, really? oh, is there anything I could work on? <laughs> See, now you've gone and made them sad, Oz. <laughs> it seems he keeps you grounded. Yes, you could say that. Wait, was that a bird joke or not? <laughs> bird joke? <laughs> Lexi? I, 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 I didn't make it. I was just thinking out loud if it was or not so that you knew to be mad at him. If it was. It's easy to be mad at him, Lexi. That's fair. Lex is figuring out the whole love thing. Oh. Like, like thing. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Listen, yes, he could work on a few things and maybe he hasn't been the best at keeping me out of trouble. <laughs> it's, it's important to be honest with yourself about these things. Oh no, I'm I very I'm incorrigible. I'll openly tell people that. <laughs> I usually don't have to though, I kind of lead with it. <laughs> it's true. Anyone else have any romance they want to speak on? Do you? Not a one. You sure about that? Cinda Fierna. Oh, totally. <laughs> I mean, probably. I would be deceased. It's true. <laughs> it's correct. Probably you would... worse. Mm hmm. Y'all are fun. <laughs> Aw, thank you. <laughs> you are also fun, Master Tag. Oh. Well, thank you. I don't get told that often. <laughs> really? Well, you seem mm -hmm. like a lovely person to be around. Oh. Well, thanks. <laughs> I don't I mostly hang it. out with I mostly hang out with with hobgoblins. Oh. I see. Yeah, they they not the, are they not the most type. complimentary. That was more recent than that. Oh, was oh. never mind. That happened within Vogan's lifetime. Cool. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly hang out with. I hang out with uh, other people. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly hang out with the forces of the undead. They're doubly yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hang out with a bunch of vampire spawn. There you go. That's. <laughs> oh. Sounds like it sucks. Right. Eh. <laughs> Not very <laughs> loose with the compliments, those vampires spawn. Mm -mm. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> uh, they can be quite draining. <laughs> Avi is biting her lips, forcing herself not to laugh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a cutie. Uh, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a joke I hear a lot. Uh, Wordplay but... is fun. Mm -hmm. Being said, it is very, it is a very intriguing existence that you talk about, Tagachi. I'm wondering if there's anything. Hmm. If there's anything. So, just thinking out loud. Uh, you are very interesting. Hmm. Thank we'll you. have to see how things end up around here. Yeah. Why are you saying it like that? Are you gonna hurt him? <laughs> You're either Probably. gonna kill him or kiss him. Uh huh. I mean, no, that's mm. not entirely here nor there. What I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, if he is... has a wife, you can't just go kissing him. Uh, yeah. Seems you he will hold his common. tongue on something he was going to say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's like, I mean, I won't. I mean, does he? But he will not say that. Um, oh. <laughs> um, oof. But, <laughs> Damn. But he will, he will just... Come on, my heart can take it. <laughs> I was again. just pondering if a certain thing would work or not. To be honest, I... Highly doubt it, but you never know. Did you try banishing I, someone again? Not banishing, no. I what have a thinking? selective set of skills that I've not really messed around with too much. I doubt that it will do anything. Why are you being so vague about it? <laughs> Spit it out. It's hard to keep things out in the open and with my sort of work. Especially when I know that all of you are very hostile, mostly. But I have a certain ability to potentially return those who have died to uh, some sort of existence. Oh. What do you mean? It's a spell that I have uh, learned over my time. Uh, reincarnation. Oh. Oh. I do not think it would work, to be honest, but, I mean, if it could, that might be an interesting idea to throw about for anything. Not that I would use something extremely uh, costly on any on just anyone. I don't have many uses of it, to be fair. It costs quite a 
interesting assortment of material. Hmm. But <laughs> that was something I was planning on keeping secret in case the unfortunate were to happen. He looks over toward Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> huh. All right. <laughs> My job is to keep you safe. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. They gave me the ability to come back, whether I like it or not. <laughs> At least once. Exactly. Your line of work once may not be enough. That's... With Miriam's track record, that's fair. Listen. <laughs> okay. What? I'm listening. A lot? I don't have anything to say, just listen. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a habit of it. Oh. Oh, that's not I good. believe that might have been one of the reasons I was asked to even come. I can't be sure, though. I was mostly just told to follow all of you. I barely knew much of anything before being having to set out. You were all very quick to leave out on your adventures. Well, we were in a hurry. When doing needs doing. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Time was of the essence. And continues to be. Also, my friend is trapped in hell, so I really needed to get this over with. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's not mentioned. Okay. <laughs> you better be fine. <laughs> I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> if he's not, I would say that it would be breach of contract, but the problem is, is that the court has to decide if it is or not. <laughs> he doesn't fucking know. He doesn't work. <laughs> you have a friend trapped in hell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it's my fault. Not a, it's not a very good place to be trapped. Yeah. Uh, it's it like a bear trap? Mm, nope, he's just on the fourth circle. Oh, just hanging just. out. Now, as far <laughs> yeah. as I know, I like to think he's having a good time. I don't think he is, but I like to think he is. I, I like to pretend that he is, at least. He's a lot more hospitable around there than you would think. Well, not a lot, but more than most people would think. Hmm. I, I'm not sure I believe that. That's where no. I grew up. So you see why we're very hostile towards that. him. I mean, yeah. It's interesting <laughs> enough to see that there's another like me here, to be honest. I don't hmm. know much that I can think about that Sagittarius. He seems interesting. Mm. That works too. <laughs> <laughs> you are a lot more blunt than I would be. I was going to kill him, so yeah. <laughs> Hmm. You were going to try. It's fair. It's fair. If you hit me with that axe, that would have been a problem. I would watch out. We are a lot more formidable than we look. Uh, he just like flexes a little bit. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't think do, it's a very good idea. Do you idea have to... like muscles? Are you a scrawny bitch? What? 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 I, I have con. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I have con and some strength. <laughs> <laughs> I can be toned. <laughs> I use I a big bow. <laughs> Same bitch and my strength uh, is shit. <laughs> I, I don't think it's a very good idea to mess with anybody who is part of the the, the table. They, uh, like, they seem to be wields extraordinary power here in uh in Honokuni. Not just physical power, but political power as well. Uh, man, he probably wouldn't have stayed dead, so that's Believe definitely me. changed my plan. Yeah. Seeing yes. what he, seeing what that man did to Legion was enough to put me in my place. Legion? A man we were having an altercation with before showing up here. He, he really was seems. thrown into the he was thrown into the water and Looking as I don't, I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try to report that or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's, there's so many things that are weird about that. <laughs> Terrifying. Certainly hope we are. Certainly hope. I don't we know see him again. I don't know mm -hmm. if he can go back from here. I don't know if I can go back from here. <laughs> oh. Oh. Are you okay, Mister Memrich? Are you having a crisis? This is new. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> oh. 
I fucking hope we can get out of here, dear gods. Mm-hmm. The Fainia wouldn't have sent us here if we didn't think we could get out. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. I'm an investment. It's not even me believing that he has any sort of faith in me. It's that he expects a payout from this. He wouldn't do it if he didn't think he could get something out of it. It that seems like it that seems like some sense. are let out. Mm -hmm. We just have to be nice and enjoy our dinner. Hopefully. Mm. Mm. Let's mm. behave yourselves. Or ourselves, I should say. Huh. What do you think they're cooking for mm -hmm. us right now? What we asked for. Well, I said meats and the, and the sorts. Meats and greens. Mm. And stew. Mm. <laughs> Some good mm. people food, like... Anything ooh, sounds good rock. right now. I haven't eaten in a, I haven't eaten since the food that Fenris helped me, and that was just rations. I'm got, I cannot wait. Logan. My <laughs> heckin', uh... My, my heckin'... My vessel thing, the... My cup. Mm -hmm. Um... It says I can make like uh, ale mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Could I just can I make like uh, can I make sake? Sure. Yeah. Cool. Hello. That's fine to me. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. I want to. I just like he pulls out like the little um, like a like a drinking horn, um, mm -hmm. and uh, he, and uh, <laughs> he says uh, sake. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Why, well, hello, best friend. <laughs> uh, hands it to so you. <laughs> does your movement on the map imply that you think you are bathing in the yard outside? No, the no, map? no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get the side of him. You see? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's handy to the sake. It's a, it's filled with sake, so. Yes. Oh. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking here you go. Yay! Right. Hooray! Sounds good. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Woo. Roof back. Roof roof back. Roof back. <laughs> Nemec runs off and gets excited. Mary will turn and call it to the other guys. Like, can we get a bottle of sake and uh, a basket of strawberries, please? Is that possible? Mm. <laughs> Uh, whenever you ask, there is a moment of nothing happening. You all look around, trying to find where they're going to pop up. Well, this is so good. Here you go. No, I don't want to drink. It. Here, here you go. Wait for it. Hold on. Give it a second. Behind me. Oh. No. I did. Oh. You turn back and they're there. <laughs> Standing just outside the tub. The top of this area, the roofs here are graded in such a way that steam can escape through sides of it. Like, it's more like a canopy than a proper ceiling. Uh, they don't have anything with them, but the, uh, the crimson butterfly looks towards you and then just very kind of daintily points off in the direction of the manor. Over there? Okay. Oh. I think you just mm -hmm. added to our list. Awesome. Well, they'll be there when we get there. <laughs> ah. Okay. They then fold their hands, they bow, do a very slight bow again, and then they disappear, becoming one with the mist, leaving behind naught but spectral pink butterflies that float around. Oh. I am not going to like it whenever we have to make our way back through everywhere else here. Mm. Yep. I don't know how I agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> That's just true. Pretty really boy afraid of roughing it. I like roughing it, just in a much different sense than what he's talking about. Oh, I was referring to Nemric, but I know what you're after. So oh, you think I'm, I'm not even gonna ask? Oh, mm. shut. That is not what. Oh my god. I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody else's hands getting all pruny? <laughs> Look at my hands that are yep. very, very pruny. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan Stimpy level pretty high pretty detail pretty close pretty render of Flux's hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Oh, I hate that. Is, should I be concerned about that, Master Lexi? We should maybe get out of the bag. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh, but he said he'd come and get us. 
Maybe. I mean, I was sitting here for eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hold out know. my hand to tag for the sake. Oh. We'll hand you the, the horn. <laughs> She'll take a... She'll take a swig. Mm. And pass it back. Nara. Avi, is it good? Yeah, it's alright. Can I try some? Sure. You'd be very basic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably just a little yeah. bit like vinegar. <laughs> Yeah. Give me oh. a sip, and then blech, uh, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There was <laughs> no way you were going to like it. Blast if it was good. We have very different palates, Lexi. Maybe when, you, maybe when you're a little older. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps there is someone who brews a uh, strawberry sake. Oh. I don't know if that would make the sake better or if it would just make the strawberries worse. <laughs> it's me with relish. I think this warrants further investigation. It's me with relish. It's me with relish. <laughs> I, I love pickles. I hate relish. I'm like, why would you do that to pickles? People are like, there's some good relish. I'm like, there's no relish that is superior to the component element of pickles. <laughs> just give me the pickles. Uh, I want tiny pickles. I cut my pickle up tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. like, is that all that you can like put in the horn and your your magical drink horn, or can you put other stuff in it? It can make other things, but uh, it uh, is limited use. What other things can it make? It's a wonderful item. <laughs> uh, it can make uh, olive oil, mead, some potions. <gasps> what kind of potions? Ooh. Healing. Um... Really? Mm hmm. Wow. Some, some other potions, too. Mm hmm. Huh. And can only you use this magical horde? <laughs> <laughs> only I can create the, the substance in it. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm hmm. But I feel <laughs> I could, you know, uh, have you drink the. The contents, yeah. Oh, over the so course we could, of an action or something. <laughs> we could, in theory, just buy like a bunch of bottles and then just have you make up a bunch of potions, and then we could just fill up the bottles and have them. Right? Uh, no. Why not? <laughs> they would lose their properties after twenty-four hours. Oh. Hmm. So. I mean, they'd still be useful for twenty-four hours, but I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm. But, uh... Cool horn. Nimrick <laughs> 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 will stand to go to go to I got get it from a dragon at this point. You got it from a dragon? Mm-hmm. <gasps> do you mean like a dragon gave it to you, or do you mean like you killed the dragon and took off? His I body? killed a dragon and took it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Most mm. impressive. Thank you. It was a group effort. Oh. In there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where I found that armor, actually. Oh. That's where I made the armor better, actually. Oh. <laughs> we have so much in common. We have so much in common, wow. Aww. We really should be friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, my queen hates you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if she does too. <laughs> Is that all it takes? Saying sorry about it. Is that is that, is that all it takes? No, no, she she really wanted to kill me last time we saw each other. There was firm it. negotiations over the matter. I believe it. She was gonna kill me while I was naked. Oh, rude. Yeah, no, right? Yeah. Why were you yes. naked? Uh, well, she told me to. She told her to strip? Yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> Well, she didn't want to get blood in the armor, I assume. That, yeah. I mean, she probably <laughs> would. If I just said no, I feel like she would have just stabbed me. So, I don't think it was a big deal. But ideally, she wanted to kill me naked, and I'm going to hold that against them. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Terrifying. Yeah. Hmm. 
Anyways, I'm gonna get a robe and we're gonna go back to our place because I'm not staying here for eight hours. As lovely as this is, uh -huh. and as much as I'm enjoying seeing everyone naked. After they were all poured, after all the baths were drawn, um, the steam would have stopped coming out of the bottom of the like the vents, so the reservoir underneath would have uh, gone cold. And since then, the baths would just slowly have been getting colder. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's screw yeah. this place. This is ruined already. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been good for about an hour. Back on. Okay. Uh, that was nice. Between the pouring of the bath, the helping of flux, the getting out of the bath, the talks, the helping of flux, and the return back, <laughs> um, you would go back to find your stuff had been cleaned and put back there. Your possessions included, even everybody's more valuable <laughs> items, the constelliquaries and whatnot, even have been replaced. Nothing valuable's been taken. Um, mm. uh, yeah. Just in case anybody was wondering if they were going to steal your shiz. I uh -huh. sure was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever you head back, I'd say you guys would have all of maybe two hours left. I've missed you, Grudge Knock. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. Are there any like uh, Yukata in in Flux's size? Sure. <laughs> oh, <I get> it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wants to go to the store more than just cargo pants and no shirt. I'm, uh, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> close enough to cooling attire in my regular robes, honestly. Mm. Flux, which color? Gold, red, black. <laughs> I change every single time. <laughs> wow. For you, red. Yeah, red definitely mm. does seem the most striking on you, Master Nemric. It is the color, I, I suppose. Very little expertise on such things. Really makes your pallid, spooky skin stand out. <laughs> that's not an insult. That's like it literally is a good thing. Avi, should I wear the dress that's covered in strawberries, or should I go for something more traditional? Huh. Mm. Strawberry dress is very cute. Hmm. Looks we very see, good on you. We see the clothing they put out for Lexi. One of them is just a giant strawberry costume. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> um, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the timelines are converging. <laughs> Which would you feel more comfortable in? Hmm. Well, I mean, it's magic, so like, I'm I'm comfortable in no matter what. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I prefer the strawberry dress, but I think you would look very beautiful either way. Aww. If you wore something hmm. more traditional. Okay. What would be more traditional, Logan? <laughs> Um, between the strawberry dress and... No, just like, what could I wear that would be tradition? Uh, for where you Lexi are? Now. Like, the yukata yeah. that are that are present would technically be the most traditional. Okay. Um, okay. But they are... The ones that are in there and, like, the clothes supply seem like they're more meant for lounging than they are for social events. Mm -hmm. Formal affairs, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. They're fancy pants, feudal Japanese pajamas. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's not wear mm. the pajamas. <laughs> PJ oh, party that... dinner, let's go. Is this not wear? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you, you work it. Yeah. You work it. Abby's going to be wearing her red dress, right? Yeah, she's going to take herself away and go put on the dress and the thigh and arm jewelry and come back with her hair just braided down her back instead of just down. Aww. Okay. Lexi will also wear, like, a fancy dress so that Avi's not, like, the only one wearing, like, a dress dress. Get a nice little, like, knee-length green dress. <gasps> yeah! A little ah! ribbon around the middle. Yeah! Ah! Oh, Aaron's so much better at this than I am. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna do that. And also put my hair up. Oh, well, you look beautiful. Thank you. And goodbye, horns and wings. Yeah. By tail and ears. Oh, God forbid they judge you here. Right? <laughs> oh, no. Mm. I think you look better with the ears and tail, Lexi. If you guys are sure to see, okay. Lexi, I walk around like this every single day of my life. If anyone says anything to you, I kill him. No. I would have said, yeah, if someone tries to wouldn't hurt you, we'll, we'll, kill, we'll either die trying to kill them or we'll kill them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
that said, I wouldn't recommend trying anything here. Yeah, I know. Again, that's why I said we'll oh, probably no. die, but mm. we'll die for Lexi. She tried to fight the Crystal Queen. For me. Okay. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> that's how I know Abby likes me, too. <laughs> if we don't want to be hiding anything, I suppose I won't be the only one. Wings and wings come back. <laughs> well, come you've back. seen their hiring policies. They're at least friends with him. Hmm. That's true. Hmm. Ears and tail come back. I can't imagine that uh, honesty would do anything other than build that trust that we so desire with the Lord of this land. <laughs> <laughs> Tag looks at uh, ears and tail. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, okay. You want to? You want to? And yeah. walk over to him and like <laughs> lean my head towards him so he can speak. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my children would love this. Oh. Children! <laughs> oh. We're learning so much about that. Oh my god, it's adorable. <laughs> hmm. uh, this is nice. No. Hmm. You'd love you to meet them. Hmm? Yeah, I was. There's a baby. It's Audrey, named Trick. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cute. They can't transform Aww. yet, so they're just kind Aww. of a fluffy fox. Mm -hmm. Well, like, since we're being transform? honest, yeah, yeah, Tag, I can do this. Wah, fox. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hold Lexi. <laughs> oh, Aaron died. I, start, I pet. Aaron died. Aaron died. Aaron died. That killed him. Man. That killed the man. I murdered him. Oh, cute. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. <laughs> so should we call? Sure, I'm trying to bad. get a leg going. <laughs> should we call Tag uh, Daddy then? I'm just. Like... Oh shit. <laughs> uh. While you're petting, just apper, apper. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying, no. I'm trying to get a leg going. Scream, scream, scream. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, you back? Aaron. 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 Eric? I'm gonna go oh walk over to his room oh, no. and, and punch him in the face and ask what's going on. Oh, no. I'm gonna put us on break while we figure out whatever's going on here. Uh, That's fair. Be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this time to take out my dog real quick too. Okay. okay. Be you. quick. Oh. Yep. Lexi's okay. just in oh. arms. Fox noises. Fox yeah. noises. Fox noises. <laughs> It's Audria noises, which are whatever <laughs> I decide they are. Yup. <laughs> it, it's morph, a good yeah. kind of life. I'm speaking back. Exactly. Also, that's what a Cassandra transformation looks like. Yeah. Man, I just figured out my pretty dress and hair and all this shit. Now I'm a fucking fox. <laughs> like, goddamn. Yeah. The one, the, as soon as I was like, whenever me and Logan were talking about like magic items and stuff, I'm just like, glamoured armor seems very fun. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Right? That's really cool. Nemrek is such a pretty boy. <laughs> right? Oh my I, god. It's such a fun thing about him. I'm so here for it. <laughs> oh. I'm thoroughly enjoying Nemrek. He's freaking into it, man. He's in. He's into. He's into the grooming, and he's into the the looking his best. <laughs> What a cutie. Especially because most of the time he's usually sneaking around. So when he has a chance to not do that, he's like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. Like one of the things that like just is my head cannon is just whenever Fierna said, you don't have, you don't have to be sneaky with them. It's just like internal squee. <laughs> oh. It's like, I don't Both. have to sneak Hold around on. all the time. This is great. Hold on, I'm trying to. There's a GIF that I'm looking for. Erin! <laughs> uh, uh, Erin! Uh, you died! Oh, yeah, my, my heckin' Discord exploded. Oh, jeez. And then, as soon as I said my Discord exploded, my Fantasy Grounds exploded. Oh. There's something wrong with my computer, and I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can. I think I'm so, back. Dancing Burrito. I can. Logan? Uh, Dancing Burrito is asking if a monk was high enough level to understand all spoken language, could they understand like she's a fox? Yeah, yeah, she's technically speaking uh, yeah. Audrey, I, so yeah. I understood yeah. one when I cast comprehend languages. It, it's so. a language. That's right. Yeah, it's a language. So, yeah. I mean, 
I figured. The, the only reason one would think of it as perhaps being special is because, like, well, it's an animal language, but technically all languages that aren't yours are animal languages, quote unquote. Mm. Yeah. If it has some basis for communication and is more than just intention, uh, and then yeah, I mean, even then, honestly, like, there's a part of me that's like, if you can, if you're a monk and you can comprehend all spoken languages, if the creature's sapient. I'd be like, you could probably understand it personally, I think. Mm. Um, but yeah, totally. Because Getsadrian is not... How to put this? If a language has a name, you can understand it. Like, wolf, wolves, for example, do not have... They don't speak wolf, they bark. So you can't understand wolf, because that's not a language. It's, it's a series of not, like, verbal, but non... -con it's contextual communication. Uh, whereas Katsadria are actually able to talk. Like, they have mm -hmm. they have words. The words are just sounds that don't seem like words. E. Makes sense. Arr, 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 Lexi, arr, arr, Lexi and Elzondi were all like, arr, 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 at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yee. So the different syllables, man. That's, that's how, that's the, how real, the real question <laughs> is, yeah. Yeah. when you're talking to another Kitsadri as a Kitsadri, and like, let's take Elzondi, who's got like an Irish accent. Do you, mm -hmm. it's like, do you, as a Kitsadri, does he, does he still have the accent, but in Kitsadri, right. what does an <laughs> Irish Kitsadri <laughs> accent sound? Oh, <laughs> exactly. Irish <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's just a lot more R. Oh. I totally need to bork bork. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. Fucking kids are I love kids me too. They're kind of great. Le Bork. I love, I love Le Bork. Le Bork. Le Bork. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn French oh, oh. back at it again. <laughs> yeah. Logan, I'm guessing that oh, like, oh, similar oh. to, similar to like other uh, spells that bring back the dead, it doesn't really work on things that are classified as undead. Um... Well, what's the spell say? Uh, a dead humanoid, oh, yeah, uh, or a piece of a dead humanoid. I don't. I don't know if it. I don't know if it would anything like that would would work with this. Boy. Well, a reborn is um, still technically a humanoid, I believe. Oh. So let's. So see. if you do die, I can potentially maybe try something. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't. Even, I don't think reborn are actually considered undead, as in the creature type. So. Oh. Heck yeah. yeah. To be fair, this is the thing I put on my content sometimes, making creatures into undead or into dragons or into constructs or whatnot is something wizards of voids doing, and I know why they do it, and it's a good reason. Um, but like, you'll very rarely find like a canon race that is like, you're also this creature type, because it opens a lot of floodgates for things. Okay. That's very smart of them. It's, it's, I, I don't think that they don't want people to do that necessarily, but they want it so that if people do that, it's a decision they made at their table, not something that Wizards has to defend. But yeah, so, I mean, you could. You, you'd have to kill him. Yeah, obviously, <laughs> it, 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 it just brought to it just brought to a to a thing to his brain. He's just like, oh, this guy's pretty interesting, and he has like a very interesting story. If anything happens to him, maybe I would be persuaded to might to do something about it. I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> but he's mostly just like sitting there, like looking at him, like, would that work? <laughs> Hmm. What are Frank? you? <laughs> to my knowledge, outside of Unearthed Arcana, which is Unearthed Arcana, it's not canon wizard material. Uh, talking with the chat, by the way, in case anyone's wondering why I'm randomly talking about oh, okay. this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not familiar with any races that classify you as fey. I mean, contextually, if you're an elf, you are fey, but your creature type is not oh, your fey. Your creature type is not fey. It's humanoid, yeah. And, you know. Yeah, they don't go much outside of creature type or size categories <laughs> in, uh, Bobby. You're unlikely to be large, or there's a one to be like your Very small races, a couple small. Very I, few. I don't think there's any tiny. 
I don't know. I'm not familiar with fairy or hex blood. So, where what were they released in? I came back. Welcome back. Hooray! I learned I could potentially do something to you uh, when I'm interested. Wild Bill the Witchlight, maybe? Mm -hmm. oh. Maybe? Seder? You, <laughs> you guys are... It is wizard stuff, technically, but you, you guys are listing books that are outside of Forgotten Realms-based content. Mm. Oh, yeah. Centaur. Yeah. Technically fey. Look at that. Uh, yeah, centaur, um, where you're a medium, so you can ride a horse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, we made this happen. If, is it in, if it's in Witchlight, then sure, cool. I well, I guess I wasn't familiar with that. To be fair, I'd like to I'd like to throw out there. I didn't say they definitively don't and won't ever. I said that they avoid. They, yeah, that there wasn't any. Uh, I did. It, it bugs me that fairies are small. They're not tiny. Hmm. Huh? Oh. You're small, not really? tiny. Fairies oh, are the same shit. size as halflings and gnomes, according to according to the flat <laughs> rules. Like not literally, obviously, but same size category. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thick fairies. I mean, a oh. fairy can grapple a human. Oh. Fairies. <laughs> what? Huh? One. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, e. we see Tink do that all it's, the time. Peter Pan. It's not like. There's no creature called a fairy prior to this. So it's not like there's a precedent for how big they should be. Are you thinking of sprites as fairies? Um, in general, yeah. I think of, like, the sprites and pixies and them are all be types of fairies. Yeah. But yeah, there's no... I get where you're coming from. Heck in... I have carrot... Dude, you have carrots. Wonderful. All right. So happy for you. Okie dokie, my guys. Let's jump back in. Now that we have Aaron Woo! back. Aaron, are you back in uh, Fancy Grounds? Yeah. Okay. Let's we'll see if I can pull it again. Did your yeah! crash or something? Uh, sorta. Oh. It's alright. It's sorted now, it seems. That's good. Alright, my guys. Good. good. Okay, my dudes. Uh, we're back in. You guys were talking about... It. I, I can't remember exactly what we were talking about when Aaron exploded. <laughs> yeah, bah, 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 that was it. That was it. That was. Man, that explains why I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Lydia kids. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old are they? Uh, oh, very right young. <laughs> oh. Um. Uh, I have a five-year-old daughter and three-year-old son. <laughs> reacting in Fox because I am excited. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Their uh, uh, daughter's name is Kazue and son's name is Kenta. <laughs> what sad names. <laughs> no, <what's laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's hard to convey emotion in fox sounds, all right? <laughs> well, they're clearly very lucky to have you. Thank you. Hmm. I wish I could be there for them more. <laughs> but it's an admirable sentiment. Hmm. <sighs> Scritch, scritch, scritch. I must enjoy this in their stead. <laughs> <laughs> you all said that these houses don't give off the greatest fields, right? Uh, that goes for True, everybody, you felt right? It too. Mm. Yeah. Well, I didn't go in. <laughs> oh yes. I think that I'll make myself comfortable around this fire then. Until we are needed. What a pity, because your clothes definitely would have been put in those houses. Oh well, I got it. Never mind. Someone get my clothes for me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to feel icky. I'll right. be right back. Thank you. <laughs> wow. I love flux. <laughs> he lives to be helpful. You it think you can love. just not go in my oh. dread houses? Nay, nay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Nemrick goes to sleep, wakes up in Dreadhouse. <gasps> no! <laughs> Avi has moved him into in the Dreadhouse. Dread no, one of you. Wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? They're the whole point of the campaign, Cody. You can't just avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Um, would you like to do anything with the remaining maybe 40, 30 minutes? Nothing really. Uh, hanging out. All right. Look at Lexi. I'm gonna yeah, keep being a fox. Yeah. We're told there's like 15 minutes before we have to go, and then I'll, I'll turn back into a people. All right. You turn back after so long. The uh, another one of the crimson butterflies doesn't appear. Walks out uh, from the way of the gates towards you, carrying a lantern. They. Do a very respectful bow towards you, then they put their hand out to the side as if to beckon you to come with them. Hmm. It's time. All right. Let's not keep okay. our host waiting. Yay. Mm -hmm. right. I'm going to call this one Betty. Hmm. Call Hi, Betty. Well, lead on, Betty. Hi, Betty. <laughs> Betty turns and walks back towards <laughs> the direction of the gates. It got funnier with Flux. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> Master Betty. Uh. As you guys walk by the um, the, the building that had the um, the metal reinforcement on the door. Uh, you see the door is partially ajar, and as you walk by it, another one of the crimson butterflies comes out of it, opens and uh, proceeds um, from the inside, holding what appears to be a very ornate-looking bottle of sake, very wide bottom on the bottle, very long neck. Uh, the bottle itself is completely opaque, can't see through it. Um, it almost looks ceremonial. Hmm. When they close it behind them, they... They pull it closed, they jostle the door slightly to ensure that it's closed, they put their hand up to it, and as they do, uh, you see this arcane pattern appears on the door very briefly, and then vanishes, becomes invisible. They then walk ahead of the group. As you guys are continuing to be escorted, you move through the gates towards the manor, opening it up into the courtyard. There's uh, greenery and like a garden surrounding the edges of it whenever you go in. I'm gonna drag you guys real quick. Oh, Fancy Grounds doesn't like it when I drag you all at once, but Fancy Grounds can deal yeah. with it. I'm sure Fancy Grounds can handle it. I gotta open the door, one sec. <gasps> Unity's neat. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> You guys are brought in. You see these two paths going around it. Again, there's 20 foot walls surrounding uh, the entirety of doo -doo -doo, of the manor. Looking up again, just to review, it is a three story manor. It's about a hundred square feet is the foundation of this place. I think that's about right. Kaboom. Yeah, about a hundred square feet across. Uh, perfect cube. Uh, looks like a three layered pagoda, uh, sort of really large, wide pagoda. Uh, and I, I make that distinction because it looks more ceremonial. Uh, like it looks more almost like religious and shrine like than a normal structure might. Um, mm -hmm. The top, once again, looks like it's just this open concept area. Looks like the entire third floor is a large balcony uh, that people could just like watch out from the sides of. Some torches are lit on the different levels. You guys are escorted inside. The crimson butterfly moves forward. They, the one that was carrying the uh, sake bottle moves off to the side, moves around the building. It seems to take a different entrance. But you are brought in. The One of the doors is pulled to the side. You are led in through the hallways of the very well-kept interior. It is lit fairly well. Um, various candles are lit around the area that give it more light than most places you've been. As you move around, uh, there's a warm feeling inside. It uh, feels content, very homey. You're led to one set of stairs around the back of the building. As you don't seem to go to the interior, you follow a hallway that seems to crest around the edges of it uh, and then go up to the second floor and then are escorted to a large central room 
where another paper door is pulled open. And then as, it, uh, as it's pulled open, the crimson butterfly leading you there steps to the side. They kneel down onto their knees and they, they sit as if standing guard outside, looking straight forward as you are left to enter into this room that you can see from the outside features a very long table. Uh, it looks like you're meant to sit on the floor here. The table is down at um, the height that you would have to probably sit on your knees, but you're allowed to do whatever you wish to. At the end of it, you see Samurai, a sitting. Candles are lit along the table, plates, um, chopsticks, some other utensils that appear to have been put there that look kind of out of place but might be more usual for you guys, appear to have been placed as well, forks and knives. Um, and there's various breads, different glasses, um, like cheeses that are laid out as well as some random foods. Uh, you see uh, some fish, some of it cooked, some of it raw, uh, bowls of rice and such as Semrai sits at the head of the table. Hirohito, standing at the back of the room, knelt down, seemingly trying to stay out of the way and not uh, grab attention. You guys are left to enter if you wish to. Yeah. And present it. Yeah, tag will go. As you Except, do. Uh, yeah. Sit at the table. Mm-hmm. As you do, Samurai's face mm -hmm. lights up. He looks very excited to see you all. Candles light up along the edge of the room as you sit down, as if to cast uh, a nice, delicate light into the room. But when they do, they all then briefly flicker into different colors. And you notice these candles that are set up slowly change colors between greens and blues, and they give the room this spectral kind of warm but hazy feeling as you do samurai raises up a saucer a little sake saucer towards all of you and then takes a drink from it <sighs> if there's anything that you'd like then please tell me immediately and i'll get it for you the things that you wished for will be brought here soon but i wanted to know if there's any accommodations that we should make before we you know uh, get to properly talking about things um, well, Tea. Um, hmm. That can absolutely be done. Uh, strawberries. <laughs> I think we already asked for those, so mm -hmm. they're, they're gonna happen soon, right? Yeah, uh, those should be here much sooner than everything else. Okay, good. Ah, uh, good. I find everything else Thank here you that you brought out to be very fantastic. We can wait mm -hmm. for everything else. As you guys get settled, would... occasionally, um, occasionally, other crimson butterflies bring in what appear to be uh, the things that you'd ordered. Um, there's a relatively large pot of stew that is brought in that I am uh, going to assume is to Fenris's liking, since Brett isn't here to interrogate me. <laughs> stew! A basket of a, ba yeah. a basket of strawberries that have had the tops cut off of them, and the strawberries are cut in half for to be easily eaten are uh, brought to you and set down, as well as, uh, though you are surprised by it, a, a very small cake that appears to be decorated with strawberries is brought in for Lexi. Oh. Various types okay. of salads that include different things. Um, as far as meats go, Nemric, you are offered. <laughs> Things that appear to be what you would assume to be maybe beef, uh, perhaps ox meat, um, as well as different types of fish. Some of the same fish you saw outside, like salmon and trout, are currently here. More food has been made than likely you are possibly going to eat, and that becomes evident just straight out the gate. Uh, oh. Tea is brought in. A full, um, a full pot of tea is prepared and set in front of Aviana. Anything that you guys ask for over the course of the next 20 minutes or so is brought in and set there. The room fills with a delightful aroma. This is the, more, the most content most of you have felt since leaving Summergrass. Yeah. Okay. Summergrass. Is, <laughs> <laughs> is, this all, is this all to your liking, then? You have gone above and nice. beyond. Of course. Guests in Honokuni are meant to be treated with absolute respect. 
we don't get you very often, so I want to make sure that you're comfortable. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you very much. Perhaps you could all tell me a bit about yourselves. Um, I am uh, Taguchi Ayama, and uh, uh, it is very, uh, very nice to meet you. Look. Very stuffy. <laughs> <laughs> They're scratching at something. Sorry. Um, I um. I recently found out that uh, they are from a very different time, and I hope that once I'm able to leave, I will go back to my own. Who knows? Hmm. I don't tend to keep track of people after they leave. Hmm. Did he seem... Uh... Like, uh, did anything seem to change when he says that? Like, did he say it in any certain, any weird way? Clearly didn't mm -hmm. like talking about people leaving. Uh, yeah. but oh. beyond that, uh, roll me insight. Mm. Gotcha. And where are you inside? There you are. Hiya. Pretty good. He seemed to be honest. He seemed very, that, that was a pretty deliberate admission that he doesn't seem to keep track of people once they've whatever he means by leave, which you don't take it to be nefarious, but whatever he means by leave, he is being honest about it. Hmm. Not that that has any bearing as of right now. <laughs> I imagine that you're going to be staying here for quite some time. People don't really end up in Honokuni. If they plan to leave quickly, people end up here because they have something to leave behind or they come looking for something. Oh. I uh, imagine all of you right? must be the same. Yes. Well, at least in my case, I did come here looking for something. Well, maybe I could help you find it. Um, maybe you could. It, uh, are you familiar with the... Uh, let me find it. For the Tiberius Barrel Knife? Uh, um... I'm not familiar with anything that goes by that name. Hmm. It's possible my family might have known something about it. Maybe. But there's not really any way to ask any of them. The only place that would have had anything about that would have been our old records. But they're gone. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. No need to be sorry. They're better off gone. How so? I wanted them gone. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> He's like, clearly stepped on something he shouldn't have stepped on. Like, well. <laughs> Back it on up. My family's his. Hmm? Oh, I was. Uh, I want to tag, elaborate on this barrel knife. What's it? What's it like? What's it about? What's it do? I am actually not familiar with what it does. I was just told to find it. Hmm. Hmm. But after I would, after I found Deus Yankovic, I was told to find the uh, the knife. Hmm. A barrel knife. A barrel knife. Yes. Yeah, I, d I don't think I ever heard about anything like that. And whenever we recovered all the records that my family had kept, I don't think that there was anything among them that matched that. And then when they were all destroyed, well, it's highly unlikely that anything's left in our family's library after what happened. So, um... Back in the day, when there used to be a lot of nobles and various clans that lived within Honokuni... They all had their own machinations. They all had things that they had to do. Maybe one of them cared for it. I know that my family took care of a couple of, uh... Sacred... I guess you'd call them rituals? We sort of stopped doing that after everything that happened. But... 
I wouldn't recommend going there, but maybe while you're here. If you can manage to get out there. You could go search the old ruins of where all the old nobles used to live. Maybe one of them left a record or something of what you're looking for. Uh, is there a map available of this area? Uh, no, I'm afraid you'll have to find your own way. Hmm. Alright. Thank you. You'll probably find trouble, though. The Zugaiken don't really like it when people go out that way. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Indeed. Hmm. So you're interested in finding this. But he looks over towards you, Mariam. You also seem particularly interested. I'm not sure what I'm looking for, but it's probably that. Probably. Well, I can tell you this. If you manage to stay here, then I can definitely find it for you. It just might not be in the way that you're thinking. Hmm. What does that mean? When the time comes, I'd like to offer all of you a chance to stay in Honokuni. Sorry, I guess I got on that pretty quickly, didn't I? Normally, I like to get to know people a bit better before I make that offer. But if you end up being a good fit for this place, I would love to offer you all a place here. And if you all end up serving as retainers for me, I'd do whatever you want. I'd help you do whatever you want. Oh. Finding, a, finding one artifact is... That's child's play. What an extremely generous offer. Would we become... Is, is that what the Table of Samurai is? The Table of Samurai consists of those who have proven that they can help to run this country. Hmm. They're my most trusted friends. Are you saying that you'd like to try to join the Table? Um... I'll have to put more thought into that. I see. I was mainly asking if we were to stay then if that's what we would become <laughs> more on that later hmm. how about the rest of you these two came here looking for something did you just happen to get swept up with them I already know a bit about most of you but I'd like to hear it from you Simply protecting the people who I was asked to protect. That's it. No more, no less. Hmm. And that brought you here? Evidently. Who are you trying to protect? Shoot a glance at Miriam and the other highest standard members. Oh, good. Because they're already here. That makes that easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Man, so you must be willing to do anything for them. <laughs> or not? <laughs> so. Hmm. Depends what they asked of me. I think it's good to have people who'd put their lives on the line for you. I think any good friend would. You're right about that. Nemric. <laughs> yes, haven't seen another one like you in a long time. Are you a friend of Sagittarius? Uh, I can't say that I know him. I will uh, maybe talk with him about that, but... Uh, I mostly come here because I, too, share an interest with uh, that man there. Just motions toward Miriam. I guess I, if I'm seeking anything, I'm seeking him. Miriam, you've got a lot of friends looking out for you. I have a lot of people looking at me. What's it's, the difference? Uh, some don't look so well, but I like these ones for the most part. I would say the best that uh, I could describe mine is looking out for you. 
So many people are here that are looking out just for you. How interesting. <laughs> hmm. He smiles this upsettingly genuine smile. <laughs> Flux. Uh, uh, yes, uh, Master or Lord? Lord. Uh, Samurai? Uh, oh. We don't get many people like you around here. What do you uh, want uh, here? Oh, well, I suppose that is the thing, isn't it? I did come searching for something, but I do not believe that I will find it here. At least that is not the impression I get so far. I'm suffice to say I am searching for the origins of my kind. Oh. Have you ever seen another being like me in this world? Mm-mm. Never. Many guests have come and gone, but I've never seen someone like you. And certainly back before things became as they were, uh, I'd never seen anybody like you in the waking world. I see. That does seem to be the consensus. I... I... I do not know if... I can accomplish my goals here. So I find it... doubtful that I would... be able to stay, unfortunately. Hmm. I, I do not mean to cause any offense, of course. But... The weight of my responsibilities is quite heavy. If, if the I time to... comes and you ask to leave, I'll let you leave. I... I, I, th I thank you, Lord. I would never try to keep anybody here against their will. I just want you to spend enough time here that you take in Honokuni. There's a certain way things are done here, and once once they are, if your desire is to head back to where you want to go, then I will absolutely help you to get on your way. I promise. I I thank you for your generosity, Lord. You're you are kinder than many. Thankful to have run across you in this place. Hmm. People often come here and they think that they're going to be in some kind of trouble. And they often see me flourishing despite the state of things. And they think that I'm oppressing people or that I'm hurting the people of Honokuni. But it's the opposite. I'm helping them. I'm keeping things the way that they should be. And when people like you come, I do my best to help them. I know this place can be suspicious, but I would like to help you leave as soon as possible if you don't want to be here. But you'll find, most people who come here and say that they want to leave, by the time they're given a chance, surprisingly, most end up wanting to stay. Forgive my rudeness, but that does surprise me somewhat. Do they not wish to return to their families, loved ones, responsibilities? Those from outside are more fortunate than those who are trapped here. You will come to find that with the proper accommodations, you can be much more comfortable here than outside. You can live forever. Somebody like you could study and experiment until the end of time without ever withering. If somebody like you were to take a seat at the table, for example, you would find that you would gain an immortal mind that time couldn't even break down. That is most generous. This body is held up for many thousands of years. It does not show any signs of breaking down as of yet. But I can certainly see how such a thing would be Enticing for others. 
Lexi Hendrix. Mm -hmm. How about you? I've seen Katadria here before. They normally hate it here, so I bet you're not going to like it very much. Why do they hate it? You've been here. It's oppressive. There's not much that's fun here. And your kind have frequently lashed back against that. If there's not much that's fun here, then why do people want to stay? Opportunity. Being comfortable. Hmm. And because many people who end up here have nothing outside left. Oh. So what did you ask? Sorry. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> uh, what? If I could offer you anything to have you stay, what would it be? What could convince you? Because I really um, like your kind, and I'd really like it if you stayed here. Well, the thing about that is that the stuff that I want is, like, people that I know for sure, well, I'm pretty sure, aren't here. I could bring them here. I don't know if that would be a good idea, because one of the people that I'm looking for is a Kitsadria, and you just said they don't really like it here. But they might if there's more of you here. Hmm. I mean, another one's stuck in hell, so I don't really know if you'd be able to get them. I can do anything. Looks at Miriam. <laughs> Miriam doesn't look at you. Kind of, ch kind of chokes on meat for a second. I'm like, oh god. Right. <laughs> I don't know much about the hells, but those I've encountered from them haven't really. They've never bothered me too much. If you asked me to find somebody from hell and drag them here, in exchange for you staying and spending time being my friend. I would absolutely do that. That sounds easy. <laughs> she looks so panicked. <laughs> Avi will... She probably sat down next to Lexi. She'll yeah, yeah, very um, discreetly just take Lexi's hand and squeeze it and just kind of look at her. Just kind of giving her, it's like, we can't. You'll have time to think about it. I'm not going to rush you. I promise. Okay. Chunk of meat and mouth eyeing back and forth between the two of them. <laughs> okay. Is there... I imagine you all must have a lot of questions. If you want them to answer it or anything. Uh, I'm here. I am at your disposal. Are we in any way harming this place by being here? Absolutely not. I noticed your uh, flora off in this place, and I noticed that we, while we're here, night does not seem to leave. I was wondering about what happens with that. Um, I honestly couldn't explain to you the night. It's just part of what happens. Sometimes this place drags in waves of outsiders, and then... It, until they decide what they want to do, whether or not they want to leave or stay. The night hangs in the sky, and the moon, which normally isn't there at all. Normally this place has no moon and no sun. It rises. Occasionally. Well, as long as we're doing no harm. Absolutely not. Visits from outsiders are a cause for celebration here. I heard that uh, there are people who can freely come and go. Oh, Sakiki. I... Oh, okay. Uh, 
I was going to have note of if you could do that. You seem as if you quite enjoy outsiders. Have you ever decided to maybe take a vacation outside of here? Let me hear from behind them, Hirohito. Forgive me. Honokuni is my lord's land. And though we once had set our eyes upon what lays beyond its borders, we long ago realized there's nothing else that we need. Oh, Yeah, that's right. This place is fine. Everything I need is here. And what's outside of it has only ever brought me misery. Good things come here. I don't see a need to go outside. I'd like to insight check that. Yeah. It go seems ahead. like the other person answering as well is kind of... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's setting off alarm bells. Well, not me. <laughs> he seems to believe me. that. He seems to absolutely, honestly think there's no reason to leave, and you do not get the sense that he is being coerced into saying that. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Pardon. I am... Sorry, go on. Pardon Hirohito's uh, stern behavior. He's very protective of me. I heard he's quite the warrior. The best I've ever seen. Though, we haven't had a need for him to fight properly in a very long time. And he's also the best man I've ever met. High praise. Hmm. Honokuni would be far worse without him here. And I probably wouldn't be here without him here. What of the other fighters that are here? Are they not uh, up to the snuff as well? Oh, they're amazing. Those who come and go have been exceptional. And those who remain are the best of those who have come. Hanukuni draws in powerful people, and those people find themselves drawn to stay here. I'm sure that you all will at some point as well. But... Enough of that, I guess. That's for you to decide, not for me to try to tell you, right? It's always good to have informed decisions. Hmm. Before it gets too late. There's one last thing I like to do whenever I meet with people. I would have preferred to get all six of the people who had been invited by the land here, but... Although, I know that you're one of them. He, like, points towards you, Taguchi. I'm not sure which among the rest of you are, so I will treat you all equally as my guests. You are all of the same status. But I would have liked to have all six who'd been chosen here at once. But no matter. There's a special wine that we save for occasions like this. We don't really get more of it in very often, so we only break it out every once in a while. If you wouldn't mind, um... I'd like to use this as an excuse to do that. You, like, see him, like, almost excited, like, a child who normally doesn't get treats, sort of trying to coerce indirectly their parents to be like, oh, it seems like, I mean, we're kind of, we're going right by the Dairy Queen. Like, that's kind of Yeah, the yeah. yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Sure. door opens on the side of the room, the same crimson butterfly from before, who is carrying the same uh, ornate bottle of wine enters. We only get these every once in a while. So, I'd be happy to share it with all of you. But, while we get that port, is there anything else? If you want to tell me about yourselves or you have any questions, I... I'm... I just want to know more about you. Have you ever met a being named the Fainiant? Hmm. I don't think so. 
Fair enough. I'm just curious. Hirohito, have we ever had a guest here called the Feignant? Twitchy shakes his head. No. Sorry. I do have a question, and I apologize if this is too forward. Um, you keep saying, when the time comes, we can ask to leave or ask to stay. What do you mean by when the time comes? I'm just curious. It's a bit different for everybody. But, um... <laughs> I don't like being too forward about it. As you guys are talking about it, uh, the butterfly member walks around the room putting a saucer in front of each of you, pouring a very small amount of wine into them. They make their way around the entire room back to him. He gets his own port, he holds it up. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. But first... It's going to be kind of a stressful conversation, so could we get this out of the way first? Hmm. Holds up saucer. <laughs> of course, my lord. Mm -hmm. I'm still uh -huh. holding Avi's hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Avi is absolutely still holding Lexi's hand. Okay, good. <laughs> he holds it up. He waits to see if any of you are not going to do the same. Tag will do it. Hold, hold it yeah. up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Lux will do it. Pulls it back Steve, Steve. to hopefully your long stay here or whatever comes of your visit. And he drinks it back. He drinks it back. Yep. Drink. Drink. Chug. 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 <gasps> I'm sure this is fine. Anyone being what? lame here and not drink? I'm kidding. <laughs> when you drink it, this God. is probably... <laughs> This is probably the most flavorful thing. Not necessarily in a good way, not in a bad way either, but this has the strongest taste. It fills you with a greater warmth than anything you've ever had. Ooh. It is the most striking sensation that you've ever gotten off of any form of food or wine. Oh. Ugh. Interesting. <sighs> All right. Then let's get down to the unpleasant part. As he says that, the various candles around the room flicker and the soft lights they were giving off all turn red. You see lights outside also begin to shift as if the moonlight outside uh, from the sky had also turned this pale at first and then dark reddish color. Then the time comes, refers to whether or not you manage to survive here. The land, you see, it echoes. It remembers how it was born. And it likes to repeat those events. And so, every once in a while, Six people are brought here. Among you, there are three. I have spoken already to two of them. Which means there is one I have yet to see. We refer to those people as the hunted. I pray you not get discouraged by that. The hunted are actually quite blessed. For all intents and purposes, they're immortal, like everybody else here. And if you were to be killed under improper conditions, you would come back to life over and over and over again until the right conditions had been met. Hmm. 
and you have a chance to far excel beyond anything that you ever thought that you could do. But it's a matter of perspective. When this land began, others sat at this table with me. They consumed the flesh of those that were close to them, and then they were cast out into the countryside to be hunted for what they had done. They were criminals. They were unfit to sit at this table. And my first table, those warlords who helped to protect this land hunted them down and brought peace to Honokuni. You, the hunted, stand in for them. And likewise, now that you have also consumed the blood of those who came before you, you will also be hunted by the current iteration of the Table of Semrai. Hmm. So was anyone a nerd and didn't drink? <laughs> Look real quick. <laughs> But my, my lord, do we all do it? Fuck. Yes. You also, yeah. you also took in that drink, did you not? Of course. Is that not pro problematic for you? Why would it be? Would you be considered the hunted? No, I wasn't invited in. Oh. If anybody else were to drink it, then nothing would happen. So the rest of the people here who are not the hunted are. Fine. Same as you were. You never had any special protections anyways, though. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Up until this moment, up until engaging and drinking that wine, the hunted would have been immune to being killed. Even the members of the table wouldn't have been able to kill them. They would have simply returned until they eventually came here to see me. But now... Ah. You're part of the hunt. The hunting of the flock begins. And I'm sorry to say that you are the flock. But... If my table falls... If they all die... And any amount of you live... Then you'll be brought back here again! And I will do anything that you wish! Including giving you a seat at the table. Because those who sit at my table are immortal. Their minds will never deteriorate. The people of this land cannot kill them. And likewise, as you will be forced to hunt them, you will find that only those of you who are the hunted can end their lives. If any others kill them, nothing will happen. They'll simply return. looks at Miriam. <laughs> Don't worry, though. You'll know. When you are challenged by a person with the intent to kill you, or you challenge another person with the intent to kill them as part of the hunt, if it is a battle between the hunted and the table, the moon will coat the land in red. So... There won't be any uncertainty. When, right. and I'll grant any wish you want, I could pull somebody up out of hell. I could grant you your way home. I could find this item you're looking for, unless you manage to find it on your own. Or I could grant you immortality here and a position of absolute power under me. I'm fairly certain, Miriam, that you are one of them. And I know that you are Taguchi. Hmm. Among the rest of you, I can't be certain. I, um... I have a question regarding the wish... If we do so, happen to survive. Um, 
would is it within your capabilities to uh, affect the the outside world? I can do anything. Even reverse on death? Probably. Oh. I've never tried. But I've never failed at doing anything I've attempted to do. Hmm. Thank you. That's all. Well... Don't let this sour the night. The table of Samurai knows not to go after people who are new here because they wouldn't have been able to do anything anyways. I understand you all got into a, a scuffle with Sagittarius very briefly, right? <laughs> That's correct. The reason that he left you alone is there would have been no way for him to kill you properly. Although if you had stayed away... Eventually, the table would have come after you for the purposes of delivering you here. But we managed to avoid that. You will be allowed to stay here until tomorrow night. I know time can be hard to keep track of here, but you have roughly 24 hours. You can relax here and do whatever you want. And then you'll be escorted out to the other side of the Akuma Kyofu. After that, you're on your Fair own. Hmm. Is That's... um, uh, is your bodyguard there part of the table? No. Hirohito protects oh, me, and that's all he does. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he like yeah. sits like like, like <laughs> intense like oh okay. <laughs> oh. I need more blood. <laughs> you shouldn't have Maybe any reason ask? to fear him unless you directly try to interfere with me. But likewise, I don't like to get involved if I can help it. So I'm not really gonna step in or show my hand or aid any of you against any others. In fact, every few weeks, I like to host a gathering here and I like to call off the hunt during that time, and I hope that when that happens, you return. Hmm. You expect the hunt will take that mm -hmm. long? The hunt sometimes takes years. Oh. Oh. Fair. If we leave before the 24 hours, does our protection expire? As soon as you're outside the forest, yeah. Hmm. So if we visit things within the forest, are we free to do so? The forest will allow you to pass to get out, but you, if you try to move beyond the path opened in the mists, then you'll be subject to the effects of it. You'll be treated as if you had left it. Right. Besides, the table aside, there are horrors here. And the forest is ripe with them. Even if you can't die permanently, you could go mad from being brought back to life repeatedly. And if things were to get their hands on you by means other than death, there's nothing that could be done. I apologize. Yes, go ahead. You... <laughs> I keep interrupting you. No, I I apologize. This is this is your place. Um, uh, may we ask how many members comprise the table of samurai? There are six. Six. Thank you. Six for one for each guest. <laughs> and they all must be taken down. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. If you all die, I will rebuild the table. If they all die, the members of the hunted who remain will be brought back to me and be granted any wish that they want, including leaving. That's happened before. And then once that occurs, day will break and things will return to normal until the next time Honokuni decides to draw people in. Could you give us some... Um, 
information on the the members of the table? Absolutely not. Hmm. Darn. Thought I'd ask. You've already met Sagittarius. He's already made his intentions clear. But unless one of them has declared themselves a member of the table, I'm afraid that it would be showing favoritism for me to tip off any either side. In the same way, although they will have some sense of who you are, I'm not going to directly tell any member of the table who the hunted are. Unfortunately, they know to be suspicious of newcomers, and there's not a lot of people around here. So, you're at a bit of a disadvantage in that in that regard. Um uh, quick uh, quick question. Uh what are your thoughts on Bareth Castle? Oh. Um why? You can say he's the worst. He is the it's worst. Okay. Yeah, he's the worst. I <sighs> I uh huh. He's terrible. Is he part of... He says he's part of your table. Is he actually part of your table? Has he said that to you? Uh, not to me directly. He uh, just says I it a lot. I can't tell you then. Ah. Darn. He just... Yeah. He parades around the town. Just... Going ham. On that. But... I see. It's okay. I never knew that thing was so old. Going ham, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite old. Apparently. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, since we'll be staying here for quite a while, uh, do you have any things around here you might think that we might like to see? Perhaps some of the sites may want may make us want to stay here some a uh, bit longer. Anything uh, of note around the area? Yeah, Mikey says there wasn't anything fun here. Oh, it doesn't have to be fun. Just anything of note. Hmm. It's obviously not fun that keeps people here. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't tell you much. Ah, but you can tell me some. <laughs> I've already told you a lot. <laughs> In the old days, this all sort of happened automatically. The first few hunts, it was very hard for us to figure out what triggered it. It was actually very alarming that the moon wouldn't set, that the night wouldn't end, and we had to figure out exactly what was going on. Hmm. The next bunch of times after that, we wanted to get it over with. So when people arrived here, we did what we had to do to start things. And then the table was set upon them, and we didn't offer any warning. But as time went on, it became relatively obvious that that wasn't very sporting, nor was it very kind. So I try to have meetings like this. so that you know that you're welcome here and that I hope that you win but that I can't help you. Well, I guess we'll be looking around at different places either way. Thank you, though. This is fantastic steak. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Everything here is exactly what it should be. That is... A blessing that Yurika Castle has. Mm. Abby, do you want some cake to go with your tea? Sure, Alexei. Very tense cake passing. <laughs> <laughs> very tense. <laughs> the light slowly and very <laughs> suddenly flickers. There's almost a gust of wind within the room. And the candles all return to being the same color that they were, and the moon seems to recede. The reddish color fades back into the soft moonlight that coats the land. I don't intend for it to be so dramatic. That just happens. I apologize. Oh, but it's nice. It's 
cool. Especially with mood. how the moon shifts colors as well. It's very aesthetic. It's very nice mood lighting. <laughs> Literal mood lighting. <laughs> <laughs> does it react to the story or does it react to you? It reacts to you drinking the blood of those who came before you, or consuming any part of their body, or performing any act that seems to make use or acknowledge you as the latest among the hunted. Is that a localized phenomenon, or is that everywhere? The entire land will know. The other table members will likewise know that there are new members of the hunted who are free to be taken down. And our friends, the other two you've seen so far, have they fared okay so far? One has taken up a very interesting position. He had a lot oh. to say, and was offered an opportunity that is unusual. Oh. The other... Hmm. I don't think they're already gone, but they will be soon if they... Mm, I really shouldn't tell you anything that would assist you. I can't imagine they'll be much help to you. But you're free to look for them if you wish to. If a hunted attacks another hunted with the intention to kill them, the moon will also turn red. Oh. You are able to kill each other, although that would be unorthodox. However, it wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. Why would we want to do that? It doesn't if, seem like it is in our best interest. If a member of the table has been removed, or if a member of the table wished for assistance in removing another, they would seek the aid of the hunted, and if you could make such an alliance with someone on the table, I suppose they could make it worth your while to make sure there was less hunted to deal with. But is, won't the hunted not win unless all the table are defeated? If all the hunted and one member falls, would that not end things? It requires all of one side to fall. Ah, uh, all of one side. I thought it required simply six deaths. However, if you were to, for example, all manage to kill every member of the table, and you did not choose to take their place or wish for them not to come back, then I would simply restore the table afterwards. Ah. Their deaths are immaterial. Hmm. So it's in their best interest to find someone who's not willing to replace them. I leave the speculation up to you. Hmm. Those members of the table collectively often say that there is no pleasure left in Honokuni except to hunt and kill. They enjoy it. I don't see what would be so great about that, but... I'm not them. I only care about taking care of my country. I hope I haven't sullied your appetites. Uh, I don't have one anymore, so it's fine. <laughs> my lord, once we leave here, there won't, there's not going to be a taste in my mouth. I'm going to enjoy this to the fullest. Thank you. <laughs> You're seeing what the benefits of being on the table are already. <laughs> he, the will lift, he will lift the glass of like the, the, the thing of like the sake and just like, yep. <laughs> Apart from the table, there are only three living people who come here. And two of them are standing in front of you. The table members are free to come visit me whenever they want to. And of course, they make use of that when they wish to eat or experience proper pleasures of various kinds. It's one of the perks, if you're going to be stuck here anyways. And the other is this uh, one you had mentioned before. The one that comes from the outside. And Siddiqui is... Uh, he never comes here, no. Oh. But he is one of the only people who is able to leave as, without my permission and has never been brought here as part of the curse. He often brings fine goods. He comes here trying to buy things like our silk and some of our wine, but he often 
brings wine of his own, which is good because we need more. We don't have a, a lot of ways to get it here. He seems very important. He's nice. I enjoy him. And he often likes to do business with people like you because one of the few times we get outside currency here is when people bring it. So if you find him, I'm sure that he'd be willing to help you out. Good to know. No, I'd not. Is that duck? I want some of the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else I can get any of you? Hmm. One thing I can think of. No, oh. you've been more than hospitable. Hmm. Absolutely a superb host. Hmm. See him just beaming. Just a very wide, happy smile. With all the joy of a young man who's happy that his friends enjoy his birthday party. Oh. He seems to be very pleased. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, oh. oh man. They feel so safe. Oh. <laughs> this is oh, fun. Are we all having fun? <laughs> 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 so you're so none of you are gonna none, none of the rest of you are gonna eat the duck then. <laughs> duck well, away, duck. my devil I'll just friend. Move this over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Slides on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Tag looks sad. <laughs> like, oh. As I, as he was reaching for it, just like oh, oh, oh no, oh no, no. It back. It's Tag looking for it. <laughs> If it's Tag looking for, pushes it back. Mm, daddy. Mm. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I am a dad. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. God damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> I don't have anything to bring up. So <laughs> I'm just eating. Small yeah, talking. mostly we'll just enjoy the rest of the rest of my food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Avi will sip at her tea. Yeah. Maybe, wanna, maybe uh, enough to bring uh, for you all to eat your fill and then some more. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else that you want to do? Bring up, ask for. I just want to make like small talk with the uh, with the Lord here. Just like he's like, what's your what's your daily life like? Kind of th stuff. <laughs> What's my daily life like? Well, I like to get news from the outside regarding what's going on with my table members. I like to always be preparing for the next visit. We call them the Crest Banquets. Uh, every once in a while I bring them here, and it's important enough that you're not allowed to hunt during them. He, like, points at all of you, like, you understand me? Mm -hmm. You will be invited to those as long as you behave yourselves. And during those nights when those are thrown... No killing. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, beyond that, I like to prepare for those. I like to hear about how my people are doing, um, making sure the Zugaikin is doing their job. And uh, Hirohito has been training me for a very long time as a swordsman. And again, you just see him in the back. He's like, and you've shown wonderful promise. Really, you have. <laughs> He's absolutely lying. I'm terrible. I think I. What kind of blade do you practice in? Up until now, uh, only with a wooden sword. Ah. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess so. It'd do you no good if you practice with a real blade and ended up getting a finger cut off. Mm -hmm. I also like to, oh. um, occasionally invite people in to. Play board games. Like chess. Have you ever played chess? I've played chess once or yes. twice. Mm hmm. There's a version of On it. On occasion. There's a Gonna version. Roll and of see. It. You guys would know of like similar. Pretty good games. at chess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, um, 
and beyond that, I don't know. There's day and whenever the hunt is on, day and night sort of don't exist. So everything just happens. Hmm. Sorry, that was a poorly worded question. Uh, with the daily part. Um, no. This is a uh, very very interesting. Hmm. I also like to keep up to date on our ongoing efforts to exterminate the yokai that have taken up living here. Oh. They're giving you trouble? Many yokai inhabit the Akuma Kyofu, as well as other creatures. As well, this land seems to... The, the unfortunate situation of the people within it generate many grudges. And those grudges take the form of various yokai. Mm. Those that resemble ravens and inushi. They are a problem. And we try to keep their population down, but... There's only so much we can do. Uh, can your um, can your people be killed by these yokai? Yes. Hmm. Oh. Wait, do you mean the table, or do you mean the people of Honokuni? Uh, I guess both. Uh, the would the people be... of Honokuni can die. Some have ceased aging. In fact, there's a couple of people who I think have been around as long as Hirohito and I. But... Hmm. The, um, others do die. Sometimes when people die, they find themselves wandering back in. Sometimes immediately. Sometimes years and years later. Sometimes centuries later. Others, I believe, are, their souls are reborn here. Honokuni claims those who come. I suppose I should warn you about that. Hmm? Those of you who are not hunted, should you die... You should know. You do not belong to Honokuni until you have drawn your last breath. If you wish so to leave, would... it is in your best interest to make sure that the hunted you support wins. Hmm. Otherwise, you will remain here. So if they were to die, they would, their souls would be here? Yes. In mm. From what I've seen, those who come with the hunted and don't belong to Honokuni very rarely have reincarnated, uh, in that they have rarely returned as themselves. I believe that those who come to Honokuni with the hunted and die are trapped and their souls appear as new residents. Hmm. Exactly. Well, what about how it revival it spells? Do those work normally? To a degree. Those who are brought back to life here sometimes suffer from terrible madness. Something I wouldn't inflict on anybody willingly. But not always. As long as you get to them quick enough, then certainly. Those who have been dead for a long time, though, I don't believe there's any way to bring them back. Hmm. See. Oh, darn. <laughs> certainly. <laughs> well. <laughs> certainly once the members of the table or the hunted die, they can be revived for a very short amount of time. But then their souls are moved somewhere special to protect them until the hunt ends. And then after the hunt, they are... To my knowledge, they are lost. Hmm. Something to avoid. To keep that in mind. Hmm. Hmm. Well, my lord, we'll be here potentially for another 24 hours. If there's ever any time you wish to play any board games or anything of the sort, you could always come and ask. The moment you say that, mm -hmm. a door opens rather absurdly, and you see a wooden box carried by a member of one of the Crimson Butterflies. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing tonight! Do you have tic-tac-toe? I have never heard of that. It's a, it's a, it's a game my children showed me. 
how to play. Aww. Sure. It's, yeah. It's fun. So just real quick, to bring us <laughs> to a lighter note, I suppose. Do you, you Nemrick, you want to try to play against him? Yeah. Uh, he, he, he offered. He'll definitely back it up. <laughs> Roll me a gaming <laughs> yeah, set check. Good. Let's Ooh. go. Get him. Get him. Uh, yeah. 15. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, you find yourself. Let's do three of these. Let's do three sets. Okay. Things. Three sets. Second check. Much worse. Oh, oh shit. Not great. Right. And last, third last check. Oh, I was on the 19 so much. It was almost there. So. You what, find, is, what, what is Battleship? What the heck? You <laughs> find yourself <laughs> losing handily uh, oh. over the course of many games. Uh, but you, well, there's a part of you that may have been like, oh, I've just not been playing these games properly. Uh, roll me an insight check. This guy has been playing for, like, decades, probably, so... <laughs> Centuries. Well, fucking... Hey! 23. Nice. As you play against them, their demeanor changes to be very amused, but there is a shrewdness to the way that they play and the way they strategize and can think ahead that excels far beyond the years that you see present. The young man who looks to physically be no older than what you'd compare to 14 for a human, when you play against him... You you feel like even playing at your best, it is unlikely you'd be able to outsmart this young man. My lord, you may be new to the blade, but your mind is sharper than mine. I suppose. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. So am I. Hmm. <laughs> Do you want to try I, tag? Yes. <laughs> what? Do you want to try? I want to try tic-tac-toe with him. <laughs> Hell yeah. A new game. Let's see if he can see. Go ahead. Roll me. That's a pretty uh, advanced game. Roll me an intelligence check. <laughs> pretty advanced game. You see, you draw the circles and the X's here. Oh, Oh, he's so cute. Ten. <laughs> Let's do three of them. Cool. Three rounds, boy. I probably can't even beat him. Like... Hey! Oh! Hey! <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, I get some style points. Hell yeah. <laughs> Use them before you lose them, boy. I can't Martin, believe doing... he rolled two nat 20s in the first two and then <laughs> just did barely lost to you, even with the 20 in the last one. As you play, yeah. you play for the better part of an hour or two, playing various games. Mm -hmm. He seems to pick up on it immediately. He has this weird strategy about only doing the corners that you just can't figure out why yeah. he keeps beating you. <laughs> but he keeps beating you somehow, until you finally do manage to beat him in a game. As simple as it is when you do, there's a very slight demeanor shift within mm -hmm. him when he loses where you just see his expression sort of softens a little bit, his eyes become a little bit more narrowed, and you don't detect anger, but you detect that he becomes immediately interested in what happened. And as you continue playing from that point on, mm -hmm. there's a sharpness to everything he says and does, as if having lost a single game breaks away some veneer of it being fun, and it becomes a task that he has to complete. Oh. Oh, all right. Cool. <laughs> and completed he does. Hmm? And completed he does. You win a total of yep. one game among... I won one the... out of, like, 30 games. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I absolutely I, believe that. <laughs> I normally prefer games that have a bit more... Um, thought put into them. But this is fun. Hmm. As a... Uh, kind of a kid's a... game, though. <laughs> <laughs> wow. it, has a, it has a number of strategies also I learned this from my kids so you're correct mm. <laughs> right yeah. but you did very well oh thank you congratulations you too thank you <laughs> I guess <laughs> <laughs> well some time passes you guys spend in the grand total of another maybe four or five hours um, in his presence, Hirohito uh, sitting ever quietly behind him Why as you guys play. Sorry. 
<laughs> so we're not going to drift into making every heckin' <laughs> our world game real. They're not real. Reality is keeping asserted. I, I draw the line at tic-tac-toe. <laughs> it's pronounced it's super story. Story. <laughs> story. Anyway. Uh... Do you do you only really like board games, or do you like like other kinds of games? Cards, games of strategy. Um, so you don't like games like hide and seek and stuff like that. I do. I just don't really have a lot of people around here to play them with. I mean, we're here to play with you right now. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? I mean, if you want to try it. You won't play hide and seek with some rogues, boy. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Hirohito, can, we... can we piss off a lord? Hirohito, can we can we do that? Do it. She's like, as long as they don't go into anywhere that we've deemed off limits, then I can't see why not. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so probably nowhere here in the manor itself. But if you want to hide anywhere outside, then uh, take an hour, and then I'll come look for you. That's a really long time. Like normally, oh. we just count to ten. But okay. We have That's a dinner workout. We great. have a lot of time mm -hmm. here. We're not in a rush to do much of anything. Fair. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Oh, I can't wait. Uh. <laughs> you guys are shown <laughs> out of the manner. I, I guess this is mistake. <laughs> the game's running. We're running a little bit long today. That's fine. Let's do hide and seek yeah! with, yeah! with yeah! the baby stride. Let's do it. Okay. Who is I'm who so is getting sorry, in, Who is I mean, getting Joe. involved? Hundred <laughs> percent getting involved. Yeah, I will get involved. involved as well. <laughs> yep. I will definitely get involved. All right, I'll rephrase. <laughs> Who's not playing? Uh, Marion will abstain from playing. Gotcha. Are you like? Are you gonna stay like in the manor in that particular room, or where, um, what would you like to uh, do? If him and Hirohito are leaving the area, he'll probably head back to the uncomfortable guest quarters. Alrighty. Okay, my guys. So it's gonna come down to a roll, but where would you like to try to hide? Gonna reshare the map uh, real zoom quick. Zoom out on this map real quick. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. This giant ass map. <laughs> it's fucking huge, bitch. Yeah, oh, it's no. a big map. Oh no. It's far as it's <laughs> it's magic against the rules. Oh no, fantasy grounds. Oh no, no. fantasy oh. grounds. Is fantasy grounds no. We just wanted to play hide and seek fantasy grounds. <laughs> We're sorry. Come ah! on, fantasy grounds. <laughs> yeah, no, it is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> it is frozen. Oh, oh. there we go. Wait, oh, there we go. Kinda. Oh. Uh -huh. Maybe. Yes. It's thinking uh -huh. about it. Hey, there we go. <laughs> there we go. It's doing its best. <laughs> oh, might be crashing again. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is freezing. We're like, we're fucking. <laughs> uh. I don't know why I'm well, picturing you as like a live news announcer. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. it's freezing. Oh, wait, no, oh, something's not, happening. And, and we're out of here. <laughs> All right, yeah, my guys. Fun. So the use of magic, I don't know. You can decide if that would cross the line or not. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. If Miriam went back to the guest quarters, Avi would try to hide there. Oh. All right. I'm gonna move Avi down in that direction. Oh me. <laughs> How about the rest of you? Did, did they mention that we can't uh <laughs> that we can't go up in the watchtowers? Did they? <laughs> I, I don't know. Go they they didn't go don't anywhere. go anywhere that's off limits. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Yes. Could we? Is there even a way to get up onto the watchtowers? We need to like yeah. climb them. Each one has a, a, a hollow center and a ladder leading up the center of it. Oh, you don't have wings. Shut. <laughs> 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 no, I want to climb the watchtower. I want to see if I can get all the way to the top. <laughs> I mean, there's a ladder, right? No, but like the roof, like the top, top. Oh, the roof. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm easier to spot. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Tag is gonna fall. Wait, hold on. Wait. 
Wait. No, oh, Fanny Shagrans, no. Fanny Shagrans, no. <laughs> Can't go through walls, Tag Lexi. Tag the wrong way. Well, I was going to say, Tag finds, like, the worst hiding spot ever. <laughs> He's but like, where on the, the map would that be, Tag? Face. Tag is like behind a tree. <laughs> oh my god. No. He's such a dad. Oh my god. I love him. Oh yeah, no. He's very I'm... much like he's gonna pop out like you found me. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. no, you won my heart. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Once again, you can't move your tokens through walls, guys. <laughs> What ridiculous? Never just near. I I hide on the I hide in the wall. <laughs> where were these watchtowers looking? So at? so don't drag your tokens, please. Okay. Mm. And just tell me where you want to go, and I can just set your token there. Dragging it Perfect. makes the whole thing recalculate lighting. Okay. Uh, then I, I will. To, I wanted to make my way over toward the uh, over toward the southernmost watchtower, the sub the uh, the south one, and while I'm there. I would like to uh, change my garb into the garb of the butterflies. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> and just sort of be up and just sort of like head up there and just be like, mm, you know, I'm just start up here, keep and watch. As you go up on top of the watchtower, the three that are up there will stop, turn their attention to you, and you do see their hands go to their swords at their sides. I'll wait oh. down at the bottom then. I'm just, I put my <laughs> hands up like, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lexi, where would you like to go? I'm assuming there's someone at every watchtower, right? Yes, mm. there are three of the crimson butterflies at each. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, new plan. Um, I'm gonna go to the bottom of one of them, and then I'm gonna make myself look like the crimson butterfly ladies. <laughs> <laughs> can you of a feather. Can you change your yep. clothes? I'm using disguise self to make myself look like them. Does that change your clothes? Doesn't it? Remind me. I'm asking you. I need you uh, to yeah, go, go look that's at what it. I've been using to change my clothes. Okay. okay I can just... Yeah. Sorry. Do, 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 do. I don't think I can make myself be surrounded by butterflies, yeah, but I can make myself look like the, okay. like the ladies. Yeah. Mm, we'll try to do that. Which, the, which the one are you going to? Is different. Yeah. Which one are you going to? Um. Hmm. The one that Nemrek didn't check. The other one. A different one. There's two. One on the opposite side. Oh, up here. Yes. Flux. What are you doing? <laughs> Is there any sort of like like garden area? Well, that's where I. The, the two areas with trees. Tree trees. Okay. I am going to go over to this garden area, and I'm going to use Ultra Self to make myself look like I'm made of rock, and just curl into a ball. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch! Do you want to do the left one or the right one? Uh, let's say left. Okay, over there. I'm gonna get kind of into the nestled into the bushes and whatnot, within general sight of tag. Uh, and Fenris is gonna. She's really put off by all this. She's just gonna go back and. Hang <laughs> yeah, Fenris is famously no fun. Oh man, I got <laughs> children. Says Fenris. <laughs> I mean, she's put yeah, off. Actually. She's put off by the having to drink blood and such. She's not in the gaming mood. Um, <laughs> because I got shooed away, I'll I'll make my way over to the over to the baths, and I will try to hide. I will try to hide there. Okay, you guys take. I'll Shoot say you take the hide. better. I'd say Filling you, up the tub. I'll say you take the better part of a half hour or so to select places to hide, uh, and use your stuff to hide there. We'll go through checks one at a time, but first, uh, you went really close to it. So heckin tag, could you please roll me a perception check? Uh, oh. my computer's Ooh. being real weird. Uh, oh no. I might have to restart my computer real quick, actually. Uh, What's it doing? Sorry. I it like my screens are black. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's so bad. Well then. Uh, yeah. See you in a minute then. Yeah, I'll I'll be I'll be back. <laughs> Jeez. Heck. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there you go. Here well, he goes. He's, he's out well, of here. Well, he's oh, heck. He's died. I will miss you. 
Indeed. Beep, 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 I love the beep. I love the the combo after it's just like I'm gonna hide in the hide in the bath. Yeah, hide in the bath draws a bath. That's no. what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> just having a bath. Yeah, oh okay. the game. Aww. Like he's fucking <laughs> the kid comes in and he's like, Hey, what's up? Help me. Help me. Yeah. Oh no, I lose. Damn. Damn. The kid. I, I hear someone face. coming in. I hear someone coming in, I cast Banishment on myself. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you would immediately return that second. Nah. Yeah. It incapacitates you, which breaks concentration. Yeah. Boss just got a little pee real quick. Okay, I need Morgan. We'll go on quick break. When we come back, we're going to resolve this and then probably be done. Um, Yay. But, but quick, right. quick end break real quick as we do this. <laughs> this that we're doing. <laughs> I, I like I like ingratiating ourselves to our host. <clears throat> you back, Spence? Yeah. Right, get back uh, I'm just going to log in real quick. Yeah. What's that, Fenris? I guess we're not really taking a break. You think that you, Avi, and I should all kiss? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. Go, That's go forbidden. Fenris, what would Dante think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked and disappointed in you, Fenris. <laughs> I'm shocked, intrigued, and disappointed in you, Fenris. Keep it in your goddamn pants, Medium. I have been, except for when we were in the bath, because I wasn't wearing pants. I guess that's fine, then. I guess we're perfect, eh? <laughs> Continue as you were. As you were, Miriam. I enjoyed getting naked in the bath. It was fun. It's good times. I yeah, also often enjoy getting naked in, in a bath. <laughs> yeah, I don't. That's like my favorite way to bath. My, I don't like it when I go in. My socks get wet. You know. <laughs> That's always the worst yeah. part. Though I find once the socks are wet, I can like deal with the pants and the boxers and whatnot. It's really the socks that are like the uh, part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Icky. I, you know what I like to do? I like to throw some heckin' laundry detergent in my bath with me so that I get oh. a sneaky little clothes wash in there while I'm in there. Oh. <laughs> a sneaky little clothes Cheeky little clothes washing. <laughs> how, how anime characters that never have wardrobe changes take baths. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Tag, what am I, I need you to roll me a perception. Actually, what is your passive? 12? 12. It might, might be good enough. You may have stumbled your way onto a thing. Uh, go ahead and roll. Cool. Um, just by proximity. Go ahead and roll a perception check. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I want to add... Yes. Um, I'm gonna use knowledge from a past life to add a d6. Okay, go for it. Ah, 13. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, you, whenever you go to hide there, about a half hour passes, there's about a half hour left before Samurai is going to try to find people. You didn't get up close to it before. Um, you noticed the, ha the building that is over here. Can you share the map again? Uh, double click on your token, like on the combat tracker. Or, or rather, oh, use right, the thing yeah. on your sheet to click the find on map thing. You are correct. Uh, there it is. There we go. Cool. So most of the things, most of the buildings in this place look like they're relatively well kept. Um, and they look like they've been maintained with a, a great deal of effort. Uh, with some exceptions. But as you go over there, you see one of the buildings that is in behind the manor that is near the back edge. Um... You see the doors are no longer there, and the building appears to have at some point... Um, it looks like it had caught on fire, the inside had burnt out, and no attempt to restore it had ever been made. Uh, hmm. huh. A building uh, that was on fire? Uh, had, pre had once been on fire, it is charred and blackened. Fire, yeah. uh, that one there? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Good talk, uh, then. Um, <laughs> um, I believe we can I tell, something. like, what was inside the building? 
from where I am. No. Okay. Not without going in it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna wander over there. Okay. Oh. Cool. As you go towards it, go to the doorway. Mm -hmm. uh, and you walk up to it. You find there are no crimson butterflies that appear to be wandering around the back area here. Mm -hmm. As you go in and you open a, and you look in the door in the back, you find that this expansive area appears to have once had shelves, various shelves. They look like they may have once contained various <clears throat> scrolls and books. Mm. And that at some point a fire had been set in here. You see the remains of... Um, old tomes that have mostly been burnt out. Some books look like they might still be intact, but it's hard to tell. Uh, scrolls, mm -hmm. paper flakes that sit in this environment where the moment you get close to it, the air feels dry, as if it never truly cooled all the way down. Mm. Okay. Um, are there any scrolls or books or anything that would be together enough that I could possibly like read one? Uh, roll me investigation. Okay. Oh, I'm proficient. Wow. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use another knowledge of, uh from a past life. Okay. On this one. Oh come on. All right. <laughs> Do you want? Oh, no. Do you want to use? Um. Uh, do you want to use a charge from your talisman? Uh, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Um, where is my talisman? There it is. Uh, I just added D4, right? Yep. Yeah, it's D4. Why not? Oh, there we go. Yes. That's good. As you go in, as you pick up various scrolls and set them down, uh, you do find, unfortunately, that everything appears to have been burnt out. As you move towards... The, uh, the back of the library and start searching around in it, it's, which is relatively quick, ultimately, given that there's not a lot to really investigate. Uh, I would like to pull you real quick uh, into another call, just real fast. Oh my god! Right. Cool. Who's got uh, the bingo and, and by that I mean I'd like to move all of the rest of you to hang out. Everybody that's not him, get to hang Hello. out. Bye! <laughs> Bye! We never saw them again. Is it get out of here? <laughs> cool. Oh boy, I'm a, I'm about to get in trouble. <laughs> As you search and you head towards the back, uh, you come across uh, you you pick up various scrolls and um, and whatnot and try to read them and you find that most of them crumble in your hands. But as you reach near the back of the library, you do find there is what appears to be the uh, what looks like it should be a book, but when you, upon closer inspection, it appears to just be the metal frame of a book that appears to be adhered to the shelf that it's on. Like, it's as if it was, Whoa. like, planted there. Okay. Does it appear openable? The frame itself appears to be just, just be book-shaped, as if a book could have been placed inside oh. of it. Oh, okay. And there's no book there? There's no book in it. Okay. It has a hinge on the bottom, strangely. A hinge on the bottom? Sorry. Yeah. With this metal frame right. that could contain a book, there's a hinge on the bottom where it connects to the uh, shelf that it's set upon. Okay. Like it could be, like, opened or something? Could be. Could I try opening it? When you grab it, when you pull it, it pulls back in a manner very akin to the way that any book that opens a secret passage in a castle has ever slid mm -hmm. back. As it does, it fixes into place. You can tell it hasn't been moved in a long time. Little bits of charring and whatnot peel off of it as you pull it back. And from a little bit farther down the shelf, you hear this small, uh, almost indistinct popping sound as you notice a very small chunk of the wall behind the shelf. A very small square large enough that it could just be like a um, like a disk drive sized section pops out slightly oh. I would like to go over and take it 
As you go over to it, you grab it, you pull it, you find it is a very small compartment in which there appears to be hidden a hastily packed together letter. Can I read it? You do. I will send this to you privately. I believe I can... Can I do that? Can I send it to you privately? Just drop it in my inventory? Uh, I don't have an item for it set right now, but I will... Oh, okay. I will... Real quick, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to send it to you on Discord, and I will... Oh, yeah. Sure. Just straight up read it as well. Barry's excited for this, too. Apparently. <laughs> this letter states, I shall not live past this day. No, they advance upon us. I hear them in the Apple Sea. Hirohito and his band of warlords, his Zugaiken, his butterflies. We have lost. I will hide our most ancient secret, which I alone was charged with, the godly weapon, the Tiberius, uh, Tiberius Barrel Knife. I dare not risk Semrai finding it. If you find this, know that it is within the tomb of our most ancient ancestor, buried in our most ancient resting place. Find it. Get it away from them. I shall destroy all knowledge here of its location. Only one book within the castle exists that tells of it. I shall fly to and burn it. This shall remain the only record of its location. I can't know who would read this, but please, do right by my knowledge. May the Twelve guide us. I'm a pocket that. <laughs> and I will hastily make my way back towards uh, the tree. Now ready? Yep. All right. That's that's cool. I like this. This is a good letter. <laughs> <laughs> you wander close enough to the building. I'm just gonna go. Right. One sec. I'm just gonna pop in there. Tell him to come back. All right, oh, come back. Woo. There we go. Woo. Hi guys. Hey Flux. Roll perception. <laughs> Are you talking? Is he? What? Oh, heck. You were really oh, muffled there, there for a now. sec. Good. Oh, shit. You You're good, good now. You're good now. Oh, weird. Okay. Uh, yeah. Rolled 15. You right? see Taguchi at one point breaks off and goes to investigate this burnt building. After he does, he spends a few minutes in there, and then returns. You notice as he returns, he uh, seems to be... Uh, pulls his hand out of, like, a section of his armor where he appears to have stored something. Then he returns back to the hiding place where he was uh, previously hiding. Very, with very little incident. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> Goes back to being a rock. Okay. <laughs> Just as, as we were all, like, heckin' taking off towards our hiding places, could... Would I have, like, taken note of the direction that everybody took off in? Sure. Thank you. Gonna be a snitch? <laughs> Bitch, I wanna win! <laughs> wow. What we're gonna do? Wow. Everybody who's hiding, roll initiative. Oh, oh shit. This is gonna be the nicest initiative we have for months, guys. Hey, My style points! <laughs> I told you to use them before you lost them, boy! No! <laughs> Lexi. Yeah, man. Roll me a deception check. Ooh. Oh. I'm, I'm okay at those. <laughs> I much prefer a stealth, Logan, but okay. You chose to disguise yourself as something, so roll me deception. Fuck you, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Lexi. Oh, me. You're too happy. You gotta think, you're gonna look more glum. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. She's it trying was to, the like, tail. Ever... It was the tail that gave you away. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Some time passes. You go over. You disguise yourself as a. Uh, no, you're not. You're not incompetent. You do disguise yourself properly. <laughs> um, to have but a relatively time. quickly after you assume your disguise, as once the hour passes, it doesn't take not but a few minutes for you just to hear from down the, from a bit down the, uh, the path past some of the trees. Just found one of you. I don't mm. see anything. I try to. 
understand like a, like a guard. <laughs> I know what they look like. I know you're not one of them. <laughs> Starts walking towards you. <laughs> Come on. How close to me is he? <laughs> He's walking straight at you. He's within like 10, 15 feet. <laughs> I'm just standing. <laughs> no one likes a sore loser, Lexi. Ooh. <sighs> Fine. How'd you know it was me? I know what they all look like. Aww. And they all feel a very certain way. Really? The crimson butterflies have been with us since we've brought peace to this place. They've been protecting us and making sure that we're well taken care of for so long. Even small little differences in body language, positioning, posture... They stick out like a sore thumb to me. Okay. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Anyways. Mm. You lose. Turns. Mm. Walks off. I'm gonna go back and eat more strawberries. I'll see you once you, once you find everybody. Have one. Bring it to you. Don't go inside the manor. Oh. oh okay. Any reason why? Because we all left. No okay. one can be in there if Hirohito or I aren't in there, so... Oh, okay. Memric! I will stay here, because <laughs> I like this garden. Roll me deception! <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hiya! <laughs> well, here's the thing! So good at this, boys! <laughs> the exact same thing! God damn! We, we had the same idea, you see. Yeah. You're like, you're... <laughs> you're just waiting. Um, like, you turn your clothes into those of the crimson butter- one of the crimson butterflies. Begin- you disguise yourself as an elf, begin waiting. As you are looking around, you just hear from right behind you just a- Hey, found you. Just right behind you. It's cause they're all girls, right? It's because they're all girls, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts walking <laughs> off, just like, you got me. <laughs> like, hands in oh. the air. <laughs> It was a good idea, though. Very original. <laughs> well, thank you. They I, they kicked me out from up there. I I, I didn't know. I, I thought that makes I did sense. Good. I'm gonna go find the others. <laughs> Avi, you're hiding, right? Come on, Avi. Uh huh. Are I you like, just, come are you on. Just hiding, hiding, hiding. Buildings. Yeah. Roll me a stealth check. Woo! Go for the robes, baby. Do it. Oh, boy. All right. Ooh. Bitch, Ooh. Yes. Ooh. After a time, Semrai walks up to where Fenris and Mariam are, begins looking around. They begin very slowly pacing around the area. Their eyes very cautiously drifting in, from thing to thing. They give you the impression of almost a a small animal that's hunting. Hmm. Mariam? Yeah? Did you see any of your friends around here? Uh, in fact, I did. There's oh. one right here. Not Fenris. <laughs> I mean any of them that are hiding. I may or may not have. Okay, what do you want for me to tell you? For you to tell me? Oh! Uh, four horses. Okay. Done. Yeah, there was one around here. Where are they? Uh, that? Um, I don't exactly know. But they are here. Hmm. <laughs> Simply for that purpose, I'm going to give them advantage. On that, since <laughs> Mariam was like, <laughs> Wow. Well, I had a feeling one of them was. I'm gonna look up. Avi, you see their eyes slowly drift up to where you are. Mm -hmm. The moonlight catches in their eyes and they seem to glow this predatory shade of red. I see you. Very good. 
I will hop down from the roof. I probably wouldn't have found you if your friend hadn't betrayed you. <laughs> well, sure. Hey, Avi, I got his horses. <laughs> oh, good job, Miriam. Okay, well, you two can deal with that. I'm going to go. I need to find the others. Good hey, luck. Flux. So... <laughs> so... Why don't you roll me? Because you're pretending to be a rock, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a metal just rock. A rock. <laughs> just a mundane rock. Flashbacks to what I is... am blood. I am <laughs> blood. <laughs> oh oh, I am roll me rock. roll me two checks. Roll me a deception check <laughs> and roll me a spell casting ability check. Damn. Shit. <laughs> Can I brain blast either of these? I'd say it's for ongoing hiding, so nah. All right. Uh, all right, so you said deception. This is going to be bad. <laughs> no, not... I mean... Okay. Yeah, <laughs> now the spellcasting ability check. All right, spellcasting. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Oh. Oh. Get it, you fucking rock! You gross bitch! <laughs> oh, that rock move. True oh, polymorph shit. to be a rock. <laughs> Yeah, damn. You see them walk down across the garden in between the trees. They move on by you, their eyes drifting around the area. <laughs> they walk forward. <laughs> Tag, is your plan still to, like, jump out at them? Yeah. <laughs> they walk wow. forward, and you just hear them muttering, I can tell that someone's there. I jump out. <laughs> as their oh, eyes, you got me. as their eyes begin slowly moving roughly over to where Flux is, Tag jumps out behind them, and they have a very re huh? <laughs> just move and put their hands up, and he's like, "Oh, you did it! <laughs> yeah, I, I got you." Ah, oh, ah! Oh, I thought I hid myself pretty well there. Ah, uh, well, you, you didn't. Good job. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Leave it to the brutal honesty of children. <laughs> ah, well, good job. Do anyway. your kids beat you in tic-tac-toe a lot? Uh, sometimes. I get the impression that they do. He turns and he walks away. <laughs> I still have one left to find. Where are you, Flux? Walks by you. <laughs> As soon as he gets out of ice, uh, <laughs> out of view, a look over at Flux, like, you're welcome. <laughs> Damn! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Enough time passes. About an hour goes by. And you just hear a yell coming from the, the front of the manor, just a, a very abrupt, Okay, I give up! I can't find you, Flux! You win! <gasps> I stand up and, and release, release that alter self. <laughs> Just covered in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet victory. Um, I know, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come out. I go love where the voice so was. So <laughs> oh my! <laughs> so much fun to be. Uh, oh, you buried yourself. Bar <laughs> yes, I. I thought I might take certain advantages of my form, what with not needing to to breathe or move very much. Hmm. I thought I would make a more convincing rock than one of your servants. You did. Hooray! Very I good. This is proved correct. Did you have fun, Ward? I did. I found most of you. Oh, I'd excellent. say that between all of you, you were obviously the hardest. Aviana's shockingly good at hiding, but mm. Miriam betrayed her position for very little. I didn't have to say very much either. Oh. He doesn't like to let me win games. Oh, we're all here. There's plenty of games I'd let you win. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say, like, whenever he said he, he gives up, we might all yeah, make that's our way fair. over. Still, wearing the, still yeah. wearing the butterfly outfit, just like, it's it's very nice, very light. 
I simply Walk was over. offered oh, I did the, the same thing. to have some horses. <laughs> I will make sure that I send for one of the butterflies to go get some horses and bring them to you. They'll be outside the castle whenever you're waiting, to, ready to leave. Perfect. I know that it's not the case, but I just pictured a bunch of butterflies carrying in horses. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <But> yes, no. <laughs> Is there uh, perhaps time to take another bath? I may have undone the previous one. Sure. My oh, lord. excellent. Hmm. If yeah. I might ask one small favor of you before hmm. we have to depart. Those, um, those cherry blossom trees. <clears throat> might it be possible to have a pot of tea? from them. Yeah, I've sure. I've only ever heard about them. Yeah. If that's what you want, then absolutely. Wonderful. It doesn't take very long. Um, another 20 minutes or so. A pot of tea is brought to you. One of the crimson butterflies appears because it flutters down uh, from above to where you are. Carrying both a uh, pot of it and um, a cup and hands it to you. Avi will kind of look a little nervous, but she will pour herself a cup and take a sip. Hmm. You've been some of the best guests I've had, you know. A lot hmm. of times whenever they show up and Hirohito invites them to come have dinner with us, sometimes it takes them months to get here. You guys came oh. here immediately. Well, you have a very interesting, interesting place here, and we're very excited to meet such a lord. Hmm. Nah. But I can understand why people would wander. Hirohito must be getting more polite. Hmm. He was very gracious. Hmm. What does the tea taste like, Logan? Well, I do you like the tea. It's like the tree that it, the fake tree it comes from. <laughs> um, <laughs> it tastes like a fake taste that I. I um, <laughs> I'm I assuming like a light floral kind of. Yes. Sure. I'm, I'm trying to understand from Avi's perspective why Mama I don't know like much tea. about. T it has a very bird a lot of it. Probably a gentle metallic taste in the back end of it. <laughs> just, just the slightest hint of copper. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, uh, somewhat bitter, floral, kinda earthy, <laughs> chestnut. <laughs> Cool. Coppery. <laughs> Milan. Sweet. I'm assuming, I, I'm assuming something kind of like a light hibiscus tea is kind of what I'm Sure, yeah. About, but I don't know. Sure. Cool. I don't know much about tea. I, I drink I, I drink I gathered, two kinds of tea. <laughs> I know. Because I often make it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you have been okay, an cool. extremely an extremely gracious host, my lord. I enjoyed my time here tonight. Uh I'm very happy about that. I hope that when the time comes, you want to stay here. I guess we'll have to see whenever the time comes. Well, Hopefully I'll make it time. that long. Huh. Hmm. But like I said, if you do end up wanting to leave when all of this is over, then I will absolutely grant you leave too. I would never want you to stay here if you didn't yourself want to remain. We haven't spoken of it. What about the uninvited? I'm assuming by the end of all this, we'll have to know exactly who, who is who. Are they free to leave as well? Assuming we all survive this? If one of you were to ask that leave be given to all of you, then yes. All right. I don't... Unf <laughs> I'm not much in the habit of giving out free gifts of this nature, so if you're not one of the hunted, I'm sorry to say you're just here. There's a slight unease look across him, but then he just kind of throws it away, like, oh, it's fine, they won't leave me here. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on your behavior. 
Mm-hmm. What a way to kill a guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, those of us who wind up to not be the hunted, we will do our utmost to be on our best behavior. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I believe. I'm going to retire for a time. It's been very fun, but I'm sure I'll see most of you again. So I'm going to see myself back to the things I need to do. You're free to stay and make use of the facilities until time is up. You have another 16, 17 hours or so? Hmm. I can't speak for everyone, but I'll try to see you before we leave. Hmm. (sighs) Have a wonderful continual night, my lord. Mm Mm-hmm. You get used to it. It'll be morning before long. Huh. <sighs> Shall we? Mm-hmm. What are we shouting? What's happening? Let's get All right, Flux, let's, go, let's, go, let's go buff you out again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's yes, get some this is sleep. going to be quite the undertaking. <laughs> I want us to leave early. No, I agree. Any proactive okay. member of the table that wants to play will likely be waiting for us at the edge of the forest. Mm. Great. That would be the easiest place to find us. Before I see we leave before. Spread out. Mm-hmm. I would suggest we have at least a decent bit of rest before we go. It could be the last one we have safely. Yes, I agree. Mm-hmm. Make sure to eat as well. <laughs> Aside from the fact that this is going to be the last place you can eat food, it'll taste nice. Um, mm-hmm. We can't forget that. I, why do you think I go and I'll go and speak with him again? He might have some more food. Hmm. A sure nice breakfast, will. maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe a nice. Uh, I don't know. Do you think they have? Do you think they have cows here? Do you think there's milk? <laughs> there's probably oh, wow. milk. I'm sure if he wills it, there can be. <laughs> yeah. That sounds right. <sighs> we deal with this quick, and we get out. Agreed. Mm-hmm. There's no time to lose. Hmm. We've already lost too much. We get in, we get out. We don't know what we're... We don't exactly know what we're facing here. Mm-hmm. 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 Taguchi. Hmm? Mo- I'm just kind of like moves over. You won't let them leave me here, will you? Wow. <laughs> In a mostly playful manner. Yeah. <laughs> he gives you, he gives you, like, looks at you from his side. Depends on how you behave, now doesn't it? Oh. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I will make sure. But I'm sure, sure your be- behavior will be the, will be the, of the utmost importance, right? I'll be sure to follow all the rules for you, Tag. Generous noises. <laughs> yep. No, <laughs> you call, yeah. yeah. I feel like they would have a thing to say here, so just, they would <laughs> interject something. Probably. You're would right, be... Fenris. Good. <laughs> would it be Fenris noises or bread noises? <laughs> it would be Fenris noises, and now that we've dwelled on it, it would turn into bread noises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. So as um, you guys rest... Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You have a long I rest. I gotta hedge my bets with the one that doesn't that doesn't not that doesn't hate me. You see. <laughs> mm. <laughs> long rest. What? Yeah, right. Yeah. As you guys rest. I don't hate you. Yeah. As you guys rest. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have you all make a wisdom save. Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> Everybody within ten feet of me. I've already win. arranged to see yeah, it would well, be because I knew you guys would do that. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she lays out his mat, and everyone oh. else just surrounds I it with theirs. So <laughs> close to a seventeen, oh, but I then it went to a three. I might want to put some stuff into this. Hold on. Um, <laughs> let me see. It's a skill. Okay. <laughs> I still have Will a D4 my fear fear and my fucking fear in a thing. Do we think this is important enough? We're for gonna me be doing to a lot of rests. 
<laughs> if it's just, if, it, if it's if it's it's just blindness, I can potentially help, but I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. So, are you guys doing anything? Uh, I can't. Okay. No, I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna say no and see what happens. You okay. succeeded, Lexi. You succeeded. I You're succeeded. Gonna... Okay. Yeah, good. Gary, you succeeded. Sorry. The only I'm people who failed are that. Taguchi and Flux. All right. So, how much did you? Okay. Well, those are both. Oh, that's <laughs> unfortunate. That's <Yep>. worse. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh. Flux. Yes. I'm going to send you something. Oh, no. <laughs> oh shit. It's, it's your new flaw. It's just a note that says kill your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I want it written in like murder scroll. It's just like a, it's but just then like there's also blood. like the yes no boxes below it. Like, it's yeah, yeah. Kill your friends. An elementary love note. <laughs> oh. You consider the nature of where you are. And you consider as you start logically thinking about the kind of people who would have to be stuck here. And flux. I've added something to the identity tab of your sheet. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Let's see. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm, oh. I'm going to quickly do a thing. I need to do a little calculation here. <laughs> One, two, three. Let's see, it would be... Okay. So you have that. That's for you. <laughs> Interesting. Share with the class. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. What, no. the, what, 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 what do you do? Come on. Oh, no. No, no, I don't think no. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger Chi. Yeah. You start to hear the ringing of a bell, a church bell, similar to the one that parted the mists, but it is distant makes your blood run cold. Colder than it already presumably runs. Mm -hmm. You don't know exactly what the effect of this is. But you do find this persistent noise is making you nervous. Making you feel vulnerable. Every sensation you feel seems to be heightened. Wind upon your skin seems almost painful. I'm gonna make a note. Doesn't feel good. That's all I'm telling you. Go. Cool. Yeah, as you wake up. As you guys wake up and begin your day at what is effectively 1 p.m. of that day, I believe we are going to end there. Logan. Yes. <laughs> cool. Uh, could I have done something before we rested? If it in any way affects the role you just made, then no. No, 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 no. It, I wanted to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to pull Miriam aside. <gasps> and could it be a private call? <gasps> Everybody else leave. Get out of here. God Bye. damn it! <laughs> here we go. Back. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, is everybody gone? Good. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Tag will pull Miriam aside. Uh, Miriam, may I speak to you privately? Of course. Um, I found something that might be uh, useful for you and I. Really? But I did. Potentially the location of the item we seek. 
happened so quickly? I more stumbled upon it when I was hiding. Well, hiding, in quotes. I suppose but... Fortune favors the bull. I'm glad you found it. Where is it? Mm. Before I tell you, um, I want to make a deal with you. I want you. I want you to help me with my goal. My other goal. I want you to help me reverse Satsumaru's vampirism. That's not directly against my interests, so I'm not opposed to it. Hmm. I don't know how. I don't know if it's even possible, but... I wouldn't mind the help. There have been tales on the wind. I'm not sure if they're just mere legend or anything, but I'm certain it's possible in some form or another. Hmm. That's good to hear. Then... Honestly, one of the grimmest possibilities is slay them and use Nemrick's ability to reincarnate people. If they reincarnate to something other than a vampire, no longer a vampire. Mm, that's true. I just want the... I want the old Satsumaru back. But... <laughs> Thank you for agreeing to this. If this is you agreeing to it. I have nothing against the idea, so sure. Hmm. Just know that that might not change what I might eventually have to do anyways. She does want I... me dead, after all. I understand. Even lacking her vampirism, she's astoundingly powerful. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very aware. He'll uh, he'll reach into his robe and pull out the letter that he found. This uh, this I believe will point us in the correct direction. Um, yeah, and he'll he'll hand it uh, to Miriam. I'm going to send this to you uh, again privately on Discord, just so you have it. I just didn't want to drop in the chat and like risk it accidentally yeah. sharing with everybody else because I wasn't sure if it would or not. Um, gonna be a place it's gonna be difficult to find I agree but it does give us a at least gives us something to work off hmm. thank you thank me when we're done Try to get some rest in this, uh, this dreadful place. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Have a good night. You too. Everyone's lying their mats next to yours for some reason. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the company. I like company. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's him. That's uh, that's. Come back. I told him all to come back. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, Miriam's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Weird... No, Gucci, what have you done? Oh, oh I stabbed him through the heart, you see. No. God damn it. Yeah. We love you. <laughs> I mean, I still like you because you're more likely to help me out of here than they, they are. <laughs> they talk into the night. Mm -hmm. Um, You guys go to sleep. Following morning, despite being at the castle. Your minds are assailed by the effects um, that I described before. You find yourself pondering the nature of the people within Honokuni Flux and come to several conclusions as per 
and what was outlined in uh, the effect I sent you. And as for you, Taguchi, when you wake up, as you're dreaming, as you're slipping into unconsciousness, not necessarily dreaming, but you have the sound of a church bell going off that pulls you back into memories of whenever you had married your wife, of a church bell ringing in the background. Hmm. Slowly becoming a more dull, resonant sound as you find yourself awakening from the dream and the sweet reminder of that day slowly becomes this active part of your environment. You realize you're hearing it around you. No one else seems to, but you hear it in the distance as it seems to almost move away and become more distant, and everything that you feel is heightened. Your body aches. As you guys stand... You prepare to face your remaining few hours on the facility. Uh, prepare to leave. I believe that is where we're going to end for tonight. Hey. Woo! Okay. Ha! Oh. Hooray! Ha! Hooray! What a fun session! It was really good! <laughs> it was my real god. Fun. Yeah. Was so good. Session title okay. The one where everyone got naked. Yeah. yeah. Hell I texted yeah, Brett, I was like, you're gonna want to listen to this episode. Oh my god. Uh -huh. They're gonna yeah. lose their mind. I was like, we got Taguchi and Crystal Queen lore. Go, go, go! <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> it's some good stuff. Oh, it's uh, some let me just mimic shit. what you'll hear when we get a voice with Brett. It'd be, ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. that effect. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Brett so well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a really good Brett impression. Yeah. You got your down. Also, I'll be right back. I'm pretty sure Barry pooped in my room. So no! Oh, oh, no. I've been there! No, <sighs> <it's> the bells. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, everybody, for listening. We appreciate you. Ah, it's true. We really <laughs> do. Certainly. How y'all feeling, Jack? Certainly an interesting roller coaster of tones in today's game. Oh, my God. You're right. Logan. Grim to silly, to very grim, to very silly. I'm going to have to buy so many more notebooks. I'm so happy, but also, oh my god. I oh, love that so as soon as it was mentioned of like any sort of games, it's just like immediate, like, yeah, playing games right now, yeah. Dude, you know yeah, like, holy shit. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck, I want to ask you, Logan. Yeah. I can, when he was like looking for people, like just kind of wandering around, was he like, walking slowly like a lord or was he like excited about it like a kid it would have been if i'm gonna be real with you you guys yeah. probably wouldn't have necessarily seen him that much if the way he moves around would very much have been like he's always kind of in the corner of your eye um uh, but okay. he would never have been excitedly like running around or anything though okay Interesting. Not he wouldn't have been moving around like a slow stuck up manner, but he wouldn't have been like frolicking. Yeah, okay. Ah, I am sitting. I am tired. Credits Good. are going. I am sitting. Good. Ben can put it well. Remember when Merkwire was a problem? Fucking oh my god, right? Wow. Ah. Things are so much simpler. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Dude, I was, like, looking at my journal, like, entries, and when Lexi, like, fought fucking McGuire in the tournament, like, with Fenris, that was session 50. Oh, was my almost God. Almost 50 sessions ago. Shit's wild. Y'all have put up with me for that long? What the it's hell? Crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh my god, I was on the island when that happened. Yep. Mm -hmm. That oh my god. You it's were you were just here doing that. a visit at that time. Yeah. Right? Ah. What the fuck? Oh, my footsies. Rest your tootsies, my boy. Use your little footy bath. Do it. Remember, oh Recent, no. I recently got, got a new food, foot yeah? bath. It was very nice. Hmm. Oh man. <sighs> I have Hold so up. many, like, theories and thoughts. Yeah. I'm excited. Time. I'm terrified, oh, but I so excited. Dude, the beginning of that dinner was so fucking intense. I was so <laughs> oh scared. Oh my god. Like, genuinely, 
well done, Logan. Because you technically <laughs> didn't really say anything scary. It was just this like atmosphere, attitude, and like the aura that was. It was mm -hmm. oh, it was a whole thing, man. No, oh, when he was being friendly. Just, yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> I, oh, oh, it was the whole time. <sighs> I mean, he doesn't mean you any harm. I mean, he was just he just wanted to know okay, more about back. you. It was the whole time. I was so afraid. Did you get, yeah. that, did you get that poop out of like, here? Oh. Huh? I'm yeah, glad. I get that poop well, out I'm of glad here. You, I'm job. glad you had fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's a good time. It's a very mm. good time. I like, I I like sudden sudden thing. <laughs> the yeah. unintentional uh, unintentional benefit to uh, to playing hide and seek. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm so welcome. Interested. Mm. There's so uh, much fun. Yeah. This <laughs> is the fucking. It's like you're welcome, Flux. <laughs> <laughs> right at some at some point, like when like you made eye contact, you would have just given you like a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> that been, is wow. that a joke? Because Tag is a dad. <laughs> what? Oh, that was just been... <laughs> What'd you say? Eldrick said Tag is so gonna get off my Raleigh as soon as he leaves. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Tag, you have to stay here. <laughs> and Raleigh just perks up. I have a mission. Yeah. Dude, we need to make sure you go back to your time. You're only safe in a world before Raleigh was born. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. <laughs> if he does go back to his own time, why do you think we never okay. saw him? <laughs> That's juice. Our tag! It's broken! It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I, I, I had a lot of stuff today. I was really looking forward to like what would be going on atmospherically. I gotta say, I could never... Mm -hmm as a DM, have accounted for someone being like, do you want to play tag? Or fucking hide and seek? I'm like, yes! <laughs> uh, what a neat thing to start off the tone of this thing. Absolutely! Yeah. Right. <laughs> playing Dude, playing hide and seek with your new best friend, Semrai. Like, yeah. I thought that you, you were just gonna be like, no, like, I like, like, sitting inside. Or like, yeah, they're fun sometimes. I didn't think it was gonna be like, fucking, let's fucking go, everybody! And there's yeah. one hide and seek! Like, fuck, I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. let's he likes, he likes many time he had, enjoys Gary. people. E. I likes playing tic-tag-toe. Yeah, he, does, he, doesn't, he doesn't care for that game. Wow. He doesn't like that game very much. No. Oh, well. It's too simple. Not. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding? There's there are thousands of strategies you can employ in tic tac toe. <laughs> it <laughs> may seem like a ties. children's game. <laughs> it's true, all of them end in ties. <laughs> uh, oh, I feel like God. that was the God. that was the one our nat twenty. I finally got a tie. With him. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. Oh, YouTube side, we're going to take off and we'll be back next week as they proceed back out into Honokuni and they are released into the wilds. <sighs> All right. Oh we'll see God. you guys next week. Make sure you make sure you check back in on our Twitch for the weekday streams with everybody and then join us on Thursday and on Saturday. Yeah. Bye, YouTube. We love you. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Hang in there till next Saturday, my boys. 